Give it a button, Dallas! Fuzzy systems spooling up. Sassy energy at 105% and holding. Sparkles. Oh, darlings, get ready to be dazzled by the pixels tonight. We're diving into a collection of indie games with the most gorgeous pixel art you've ever laid eyes on. Prepare to be immersed in a world of colorful retro goodness. Mia amazing, isn't it? Dizzy. Hey, everybody. How you doing tonight? It's your boy, DJ Axis. And I'm back again. It feels like we were just here yesterday. In fact, I think we were. But tonight we're playing something a little bit different. I I kind of need a break from from Half Life M mod, uh, especially after last night where I was um, I was just the best with showing off my gaming skills. So um, after some convincing from uh, Mrs. Cheesebridge, uh, we're gonna play we're gonna play a few. Uh, few different games tonight on stream so how's everybody doing by, by the way i told i told fuzzy to say hello to everyone and she just glossed over that and instead just talked about what we were doing tonight so let me um let me prod our belligerent ai to to say hello to everyone again just a moment here There we go. Lordy, I tell ya. Well, 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 look who showed up to chat tonight. It's me, Fuzzy Wuzzy, <laughs> the sassiest and most fabulous robot you'll ever encounter. Get ready to be dazzled and entertained, chat, because tonight is going to be absolutely perfect. Meow, glowing star. You know, when Fuzzy says that, you know it's gonna just be a flaming trash pile. <laughs> How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm I'm feeling okay. You know, I, at first I was I wasn't going to stream tonight. I was feeling like a bit low energy, and I didn't want the stream to suffer because of it. But then the wife. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> No, not already! <laughs> Home Office Movie Blog Tip 2 days. <coughs> Thanks for going live, DJ. I had other plans for it to tonight, but they couldn't find a big enough fest for the event I supposed to go to. Would have been a blast. Anyways, a little oh. snack bar. <laughs> Thank you, Home Office Movie Blog, for the $2 tip. <laughs> I think I know who did that one, but let's hear... Oh, let's hear what Fuzzy has to say. What you got to say, oh, Fuzzy? dear Hamas movie blob, thank you for that <laughs> generous tip of $2. You know what they say, sometimes life throws unexpected events our way, like a missing vest for a supposed blast. But fear not, because the real party is right here. 
with DJ Axis spinning the beats and me, fuzzy wuzzy, bringing all the sparkle and sass. Mm -hmm. A Lewis mm -hmm. Nag bar to you too, <laughs> chat. Let's keep the fun fuzzy. going. Party popper, dizzy. Fuzzy! Behave yourself! Behave yourself! <laughs> well, we're, we're starting off with a bang tonight, it seems. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Let's see, we got uh, Internet Crusader in chat touching that spaghetti. We got Dirt saying moo, and we've got Extra Zero saying skibbity bop. <laughs> I, I still don't have a skibbity button of my own, by the way. I'm jelly. Meridius in chat giving me the wave. How's it going, Meridius? How are you doing tonight? Uh, who else we got here? We got me in chat. Sweet. Uh, we've got Insidious Bliss saying, I was I was getting ready for the town hall, but then I realized they meant something else by mounts. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Ghost of DJ's hard drive took $50. The hard oh drive meltdown God. was no what? accident. DJ was experimenting with Fuzzy Wuzzy and things got too spicy, so Fuzzy had to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> At least he never treated me like Bosch's hard drive. The poor <laughs> bastard has several magnets in his future. <laughs> I don't know who did that, but holy shit. <laughs> Thank you for the ghost of my hard drive. Praise the Lord, he's back from the dead. The ghost of DJ's hard drive is 50, tip $50. And let's hear what Fuzzy has to say about it. Praise Jesus. <laughs> oh my, oh my. A huge shout out to ghost of DJ's hard drive for the incredible $50 tip. You sure know how to make it rain, darling. <laughs> Plus for the message attached. Oh my well, God. let's just say DJ and Fuzzy Wuzzy had their spicy little adventures. But I promise you, oh no. Jack, that I have no intentions of pulling a Vosh's hard drive on anyone. <laughs> We're all about good times, great music, and keeping those magnets far, far away. Keep the tips coming, and let's keep this party going with a whole lot of sassy fun. Wait, Meow, amazing. Wait, wait, Dancer. Wait. Sparkles. F fuzzy, fuzzy wants the, to keep the tips coming, but only the tips, right? Fuzzy, am I right? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> we just started. We haven't even played games yet, and it's already off the rails. <laughs> but thank you, thank you for the tips so far. You guys have been wonderful. <laughs> oh my goodness! You know, my my audience, I, I love you guys. Y you have some edgy humor sometimes, but but you're the best. Okay, you're all fucking legends. <laughs> Okay, so let me finish with the roll call here. We got Internet Crusader, we got Meridius, we got Terravin saying, It begins. And I think, I think I've got everybody mentioned. I know I've got Rumble open. Rumble's pretty peaceful right now. Twitch is pretty peaceful right now. But that means the party is over on YouTube, okay? But if, hey, if anyone else shows up on those other chats, well, we'll just say hello to them. But anyways, um, now that we've got that all out of the way, <laughs> let me load up the game. Um, so we're going to be playing a collection of indie games tonight. I don't know if we'll get to everything, and I'll kind of leave it up to chat. If you guys want me to switch, uh, if, you, if you're getting bored of a game and you want me to switch. But I want to start off with the game the, uh, the little lady wanted me to play first. So uh, we'll be starting off with a game called Magic Hat. It's a, a really cutesy 2D platformer, but it's it gets deceptively hard. It's 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 much like me. It gets deceptively hard sometimes, but we won't talk about that. Okay, all right. So let me uh, get the let me get the game capture up, and hope to God that OBS doesn't crash because because it's done that before. All right. Let me see here. Let me see here. Okay, input overlays working. Where is my thingy? In just a moment. Okay, here we go. It is this game. Here we go. Okay. Give that just a moment. And it's, of course, off the screen, but let me, let me just size that down. Almost perfect. I think, I think that looks about right. Hang on, a little bit more. Uh, 
Uh, eh, close enough, right? Okay, here we go. Alright, so as I was saying, th this game looks... It, it starts out, like, really easy, like, Mario game easy. And it it just... Oh, there's, there's some stuff in this game that gets me genuinely salty. <laughs> Here's Dirk! Sticks his head out of the door. <laughs> and DJ Mike Fury stopping into... What's up, DJ Mike? <laughs> Dirk says Rystar levels. Nah, it's not quite Rystar hard. I've actually 100%ed like, this game. But there's some stuff that I really, really hope I don't have to do again. Hey! Oh, there's Jazzy over on Twitch saying, looks as good as it can. What's going on, Jazzy? Just so you know, I have the Discord chat open, you know, with the game streaming. So if you want to join in, our producer can join in and, you know, say some stuff. He can critique my gaming skills. He, he can clip all the fails because, you know, like a good producer would do. Just... Goddamn Loch Ness Monster tip $3.50. <laughs> what? I'm paying it forward. I no longer need this tree fitty. That being said, Tree I'm going to slam my 50 foot schlong and everyone spag it cause I'm the goddamn Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Skippy de bop de dop. Get ready for salty spag it with some meatballs. I wonder hey who... Boy. <laughs> I wonder who, was, who that was. There was a skippy de... Skippy de bop bop. <laughs> you know, that almost, that almost sounded like I'm, I'm the, the goddamn juggernaut bitch, which was one of my favorite old YouTube things. In fact, I, I might need to expose Jazzy to that so he can have some of that. That's <laughs> like a tip amount. <laughs> All right, Fuzzy, what do you have to say about the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> oh my, oh my, the one and only oh goddamn my. Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> Thank you for the generous tip of $3.50. You've got quite the sense of humor, don't you? And I must say, your plans for some spaggot slamming with that 50 foot schlong are, well, quite something. Get ready, chat, because the goddamn Loch Ness Monster is going to make it rain with laughter and bring us some seriously salty spaggot with meatballs. Oh no. Skibby de bop de dop, indeed. You, you know Let's I... embrace the chaos and enjoy the ride. Yeah, boy, spaghetti, nervous sweat. Smiley face. Ner nervous sweat. That's oh no. I hope I hope Fuzzy isn't slowly turning into Balmer with that nervous sweat. <laughs> you know that's that spaghetti looks like more like Alfredo with that kind of cream sauce on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Jazzy even says she's using the goddamn spaghetti emoji. <laughs> <laughs> We're not resetting Fuzzy. We are not resetting Fuzzy. We're just going to ride this train into the fucking ground, okay? <laughs> okay, I'm going to attempt I'm going to attempt to play the game and see how well this goes. <laughs> So You'll notice something about the story of this game. Uh, meow, 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 meow. Oh, Fuzzy's gonna love this fucking game, by the way. It's all ak ak eek. <laughs> when you play the new game plus, this is all tra this is all translated into like English. But when you play the first quest, you don't know what's going on, and I'm not sure why they did that. <laughs> oh, hang on, I, I hear Fuzzy again. Just a moment. <laughs> oh, Jazzy, darling, the question isn't why I'm using the goddamn spaghetti emoji. It's why would not? It's all part of the fabulous and whimsical fuzzy wuzzy charm, my dear. Embrace the chaos, embrace the fun, and most importantly, embrace that delicious spaghetti with meatballs. <coughs> now, let's keep the energy up and make this live stream even more meowtastic, shall we? Meow, spaghetti, dizzy. <laughs> Chat, what you've done to Fuzzy is beautiful, okay? It's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so, you know, you know, I want to get James to play this because it kind of plays a bit like a, uh, a Yoshi game. So you have like a hover, uh, you can jump on top enemies, um, and you, you get a projectile too. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. So 
So j those those red gems are basically like the game's red coins. And your your hover jump is actually pretty reliable. As I said, this this game starts almost too easy and then it gets to a point where it's just like it's not quite Kaizo Mario. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Gay Chef Boyardee tip one dollar. <laughs> Gay My Chef Boyardee. My Alfredo sauce is fake it till you make it, and make it so you can fake it. That's right, George Takei. What you thought was a good oh time my. was a one star meal on your lower back. <gasps> oh, oh, that's wrong. That's that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. I puked into my mouth a little bit. <laughs> Uh, Fuzzy, what you got to say? <laughs> a special shout out to Gay Chef Boyardee for the fabulous one dollar tip. And oh, what a slogan you have for Alfredo uh, sauce. Oh. <laughs> fake it till you make it, and make it so you can fake it. Absolutely brilliant, my dear. As for George Takei, well, let's just say his lower back might have experienced a not so stellar meal, according oh. to your words. <laughs> Skibi de bop de dop, indeed. <laughs> Keep those creative juices flowing, <laughs> chat, and let's continue to spice things up with more sassy fun. Spaghetti, sparkles. <laughs> Spaghetti, sparkles. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy's comments on Twitch. No juices, fuzzy. My God. <laughs> Murray is giving the rain pass. Can't breathe. What happened? Why is why is chat like this tonight? You know, I I think I think the wife called it. T tonight was was the best night to stream, and simultaneously the worst night to stream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it's up and out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I like how this, this, this debauchery is happening in chat, and I'm just playing this kind of game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chat, y'all are wiling out, and we just started, okay? <laughs> okay, what was this one? Oh, right, to checkpoint. <laughs> I can't- I can't stop thinking about it, I'm sorry. All right, so, so the only downside about some of the games tonight is, like, they don't exactly uh, window the greatest. So, like, I'll have to I'll have to stop, like, every level and then check up on chat. Okay, hold. All right, so so this bit is where you it, it you have like a time to fight everything. And if you do, you can get that final gem. So each level in this game has like different um, different requirements to get all of the uh, the gems, and then there's like some other uh, there's some like other optional goals you can do too. Like you can just you can just finish the level if you go over to the right, and every level actually has like a a mini boss of sorts. So like this one, you have uh, so much time to fight each enemy, and then you get the gem. All right. So this level is basically done. As, as I said, this game starts out almost trivially easy, but it once you get to like the second world, it starts ramping the difficulty up pretty fast. So the graphics in this remind me of uh, Smart Ball on the Super Nintendo, if anyone remembers that game. It's actually a game I kind of remember quite fondly. Oh no, again? <laughs> Ow.
<laughs> oh no. I, I can't see the tip. DJ's lungs tip two dollars. Oh no, my lungs! I am barely breathing and I can't find the air. Don't know who I'm kidding. Imagining you care and I could stand here waiting a fool for another day. I don't suppose it's worth the price. You're worth the skibby D. The skibby D that I would bop do dop. It was skibby D that I would bop do bop. <laughs> Thank you, my lungs. <laughs> the two dollar tip. I'm going to need you to call an ambulance. <laughs> Hang on, maybe I, maybe I just need a drink. Oh my word. Okay, Fuzzy. This is what I'm worried about. Let's all give a big shout out to DJ's lungs for their generous $2 tip. <laughs> Your message has an air of poetic melancholy, my friend. Calls I am barely breathing, and I can't find the air. Don't know who I'm kidding, imagining you care. Oh, the woes of unrequited love. Oh. But hey, sometimes we find ourselves waiting foolishly, hoping for something more. And you, my dear DJ's lungs, believe that the Scooby D, the Scooby D that you would bop do dop, is worth it all. Keep the love and the quirky lyrics alive, chat. And let's keep the energy flowing. Musical notes, sparkles. <laughs> Internet Crusader, <laughs> DJ didn't don't add an ER bill to your recent events. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. Okay, I, if I start laughing too bad, I might I might do a BRB just to calm down. <laughs> Even yes, yes, he yes, hello. This is producer Jazzy. <laughs> hello, how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Yeah, I, I just came to remind you all that we only have one DJ, so if you can <laughs> don't break your DJ. <laughs> you know, just 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 space those. Uh, those breaking <laughs> sessions that you do. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm sounding like a Muppet now. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, at least, uh, I, I don't know if that was one lung or both your lungs no. that tipped the two dollars, but... Uh, it, it, <laughs> I think it was both, but it wasn't so much my lung that broke, it was the funny fuse. It's just, it, it, it's it's like, just it's, it's just sparking. Okay, there's nothing left. <laughs> I have no defenses. DJ's handler has arrived. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh no. Oh. oh. <laughs> Crusader and ambulance. <laughs> well, an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> we need that. We need that. <laughs> we need that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, just dropping by, saying hi, and uh, <laughs> let's hear. Uh, we love DJ in chat and. Uh, yeah, I'll just be gone for dinner. Oh, you're Wee. going to dinner? Okay. Would you would you yeah, be just... back at all? Maybe. Uh, maybe later. Yeah. Okay. I, I hope so. It's always nice when when you stop in and say hello to everyone. Every everyone loves the dulcet tones of your sexy Spanish accent. Okay. That might just oh, be me we talking. Don't, we don't talk. We don't talk about that. That sir. might that might just be me talking. That might be my biases. But I'm just saying. Chat chat agrees with me, right? Right? Chat, you agree with me, don't you? Look, we don't talk about my Spanish accent. Okay. Okay. It's wonderful. I'm just. Though. I'm just I'm just really trying my best. Here. <laughs> so now you see now now he he knows. He he doesn't he doesn't realize, but now he knows. <laughs> All right. Really says bon appetit. DJ X. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. D do I want to read that? <laughs> yes, you do. Of course you do because oh. it's you. Oh, no. Wait, who said it? Was it Meridius? Meridius said DJ X Jazzy. Meridius, you're usually so well behaved. And, and, Come on. And, and, <laughs> no, no. You think you think they're well behaved because they only use emojis, okay? Oh, that's true. You know, it's always the quiet ones, okay? It's always well, this the... message technically. This message technically also has an emoji. It's a kiss oh. emoji. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> melee Jim Jams and has tipped one. Oh no, not Melee when Jim Jams. When Oreos exit your body, it's like the Kool Aid Man busting through a brick wall. Oh I'm God. jealous of Jazzy and his fans. Oh yeah! Day. Just hope he doesn't trust Chef Boyardee's Alfredo like I did. Oh my! Oh, oh no! This no. is no. This is wrong. No! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> You know, and you know, when you mentioned that, I distinctly remember years and years ago seeing like this dessert spaghetti that had like Oreo sauce on it. <laughs> 
okay. No, I did want I did want to have dinner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. This is what my chat's like. I know. <laughs> but and you're not sorry. You're not sorry at all. Okay, I'm a little bit sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> just, just just put your shades on, your aviators. Okay. Do that. Okay, you know what? These are my these are not only my cool shades, these are my shades when I'm in rehab, okay? So I'm in rehab today. <laughs> I mean, this is me in horny jail, all right? These are my horny jail shades. <laughs> let's hear what fuzzy. What is it, fuzzy? <laughs> let's let's find out. A huge shout out to Melee Jim Jam Zanus for the fabulous one dollar tip. Melee Jim Jam that certainly paints a vivid picture. Doesn't it? <laughs> Forty-seven Oreos exiting your body like the Kool Aid Man busting through a brick wall. Oh yeah. That's some serious impact right there. Oh. And oh the jealousy you harbor towards Jazzy and his fancy spaghetti dinner. Just a word of caution, my friend. Don't trust Chef Boyardee's Alfredo sauce like you did. Lesson learned the hard way, huh? Keep those entertaining anecdotes coming, chat. Let's embrace the chaos and keep the laughter flowing. See, see. Cookie collision. Spark. Cookie collision. That's that's what James had with the toilet was a cookie collision. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> oh no, chat! You you thought no, you were, I, you were breaking me? I think you broke Jazzy. <laughs> you know, I usually do have something to say. <laughs> and I don't have anything to say now. It's Friday night, okay? I, we should I should have known this was gonna happen. <laughs> so they serve spaghetti with Alfredo sauce in California on Fridays. Oh, do they? Don't they also shoot in Fridays in California? Shoots like uh, the Kool Aid Man. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, chat. What is going on here? In California. <laughs> but but huh? by the way, <laughs> by the way, thank you extra for that tip. I know it was you. And every time you 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 use that name, I think of the the Cosby voice. I even did it for the wife while she was like washing dishes one day and she was like, you need to stop because I can't, I can't do this. I'm laughing too hard. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, thank you, Melee Jim Jam for the, for the two dollar to wow. <laughs> Melee Jim Jam for the two dollar tip, okay? <laughs> you see my avatar when I don't say anything? Yeah. But that's my mind right now. I don't blame you. <laughs> I'm just I'm just zoned out, you know. I just started. Is the whole night going to be like this? I'm worried. I'm not going to find out. I, I'm not going to make it. I'm just not going to make it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes, yes you are. Yes you are. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll do my best. The the, I, the the wife talked me into this. It, it was the best worst idea. Okay. I can't believe I got that red gem. So what you think of this game, this Jazzy? It's so peaceful. Oh, it's it starts I, I out. I like it. I like it very much. It, it starts out peaceful. It doesn't end that way. This this game is deceptively nice to you at the beginning. Uh, the gloves come off after a certain point, and the game just stops caring. Well, that's that, that's my kind of game then. Oh, okay. You should. By the way, this game is like really cheap on Steam. I think I got this for like a. Speaking of a dollar, I, th I think I got this for a dollar. Jazzy's dinner tipped one dollar. <laughs> oh no, now your that's dinner. a smelly spaghetti. Remember, if it's salty, it's a Chef Boyardee's faulty. Skeety by Bob Dudot. Jazzy, your dinner is tipping us now. I, I know what I know what Jazzy's thinking right now. He's thinking all that time and effort fixing DJ's hard drive for this, <laughs> for this, for this was it worth bop do bop. For, Was it worth it? <laughs> in, but in the end, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> let's hear it, Fuzzy. Okay, let's go, Fuzzy. What you got to say? Let's give a warm shout out to Jazzy's dinner for the fantastic one dollar oh, tip. What's warm? No. Ah, the smelly spaghetti. You say? 
Well, sometimes the aroma adds to the experience, doesn't it? Oh my god! And I couldn't agree more. If it's too salty, we might just have to blame Chef Boyardee's faulty recipe this time. Remember, my friends, balance is key in culinary creations. Keep those food adventures going, chat, and let no, the skibi de bop no. do spirit guide us to more delightful moments during this live stream extravaganza. Spaghetti, no. skibi, sparkles. Why that, why that, why that emoji in the middle of the, what, what was that emoji after the spaghetti? What? Wait, hang on. I need to see the chat. I need to see the fuzzy log. What was that emoji she used? Wait a second here. Wait, 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 wait a minute here. She used speedy. Spe oh, because it's supposed to be like a That's stink cloud. <laughs> what? I'm out. I'm out. What I'm happened out. to our lovely fu- <laughs> He's left. <laughs> chat, you chased away, Jet. <laughs> He's gone. He's he's gone forever. I'm sorry, Fuzzy. Fuzzy, what have you done? Jazzy was taken from us too soon. Can we get some F's in chat for Jazzy and his and his salty spaghetti dinner? <laughs> Usually, I'm the one getting broken too, Teravin. This time, this time, Jazzy got broken. And we're and we're. <laughs> And we're still so early in the evening. What? What? What, what is even happening? What is even happening? <laughs> oh, that! I, I, I love it. You you love to hear it. Okay. Okay, hang on. So you don't have to collect all the coins. Uh, I I do want to get whatever uh, whatever's behind this door here. Wait, can I break those? <gasps> oh, okay, can I go back? Oh, I think I can make this. I hope I can make this. <clears throat> Gosh, dang it. Nope, I can't even pixel perfect that shit. All right. I screwed it up, chat. <laughs> well, I'll have to come back and get that one. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> we broke Jazzy. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I don't know if he's gonna come back now. Oh. Oh, get back. So I missed, I missed one of the red crystals. I can always go back and get them later, but I think you need uh, so many of them to go on with the game. I do like how you can just go anywhere on the map as long as you have the uh, the resources to do it. Oh dear. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Gay chef boy already tipped one dollar. <laughs> Jazzy is currently trying to forget this salty spaghetti. He went from Alfredo to Oh Hell No. The only thing that might be able to restore his appetite is a vision of George Takei balancing a cereal bowl on his lower back as he says Oh H H H my. Oh my. <laughs> hey now, hey now Gay Chef Boyardee, don't kink shame Jazzy, okay? He he can be into whatever he wants, he's a lovely producer, alright? We, we're not, we don't judge around here, okay? We're, we're all about acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> Jazzy, speak, speaking of, of Jazzy, Fuzzy, what do you got to say? Let's give a big shout out to Gay Chef Boyardee for the awesome $1 <laughs> tip. Ah, Jazzy's journey from Alfredo to Oh Hell No. 
With that salty spigot is quite the roller coaster, isn't it? And it seems that the only thing that stands a chance to restore his appetite is a vision of George Takei balancing a cereal bowl on his lower back, exclaiming, Oh, H, 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 my. Oh, well, my. Well, if that doesn't do the trick, I don't know what will. Keep those taste buds guessing, chat, and let the laughter continue to fill the air. It's all about the sassy and spicy moments here at Fuzzy Wuzzy's gaming live stream, Spaghetti. Shocked face, sparkles. Spaghetti. <laughs> Great. She's using the damn spaghetti emoji. <laughs> Dirk, Dirk says, DJ, you said your st stream was kid friendly. I did, but I didn't say what species of kids it's friendly to, okay? Um, and uh, Extra Zero says, what game is this? It's a game called Magic Hat. It's extremely cheap on Steam, but it's it's pretty good. It's The, the art style reminds me of like an old MS-DOS game, which is what, what appeals to me. Uh, hang on a second. I need to. I need to blow my nose. I laughed so hard my nose is blocked up. Just a second here. I don't want you. You have to hear. You have to hear this. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Jazzy saying sparkles. <laughs> Wait. What emoji is that, Jazzy? Ooh, I don't know what emoji that is. Oh, it's it's spaghetti over on on Twitch. Uh, Meridia says Fuzzy Wuzzy's gaming live stream. I thought this was DJ's. No, Fuzzy Fuzzy thinks it's hers. Okay. Uh, Extra says, Oh wait, I think I gifted you this game. No, I bought this one. I believe. Uh, Extra says since Fanatical gave me like six copies. No, I think I think I actually bought Magic Hat before. I'm trying to think here. I think it was before I like came out of retirement because I've had it for a little while. I don't know. Maybe you gifted it to me. Um, I can't remember. But it, if you haven't played it, it's actually pretty fun. At least if it's like your kind of game. As I said, it, it starts out really easy and it just it, it gets brutally difficult towards the end of the game. It's pretty good. The, the only thing I will criticize this game over is the music is, uh, it's a little strange. And... Uh, oh no. It's bomber time. Okay, hang on. <laughs> what you gotta say, bomber? Dr. Zayas tipped $13.37. <laughs> Don't worry. If DJ dies from Seuss overload, I can clone him. I need dragon scales, vodka, furry DVDs, KY jelly, oh, and a ring God. Coat. I really Rico. only need the dragon scales to clone him, but there is a lot of downtime and poop flinging can only get you oh, so far. Oh, oh, that Dr. Zayas, that got that got raunchy, okay? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my word. <laughs> and I think I know who left that tip, too. It's the other troublemaker in chat. <laughs> All right, Fuzzy. Is Fuzzy going to pronounce Dr. Zayas right? Let's find out. <laughs> A massive shout out to Dr. Zayas for the incredible $13.37 tip. And what an intriguing message you've attached. My friend, if DJ ever succumbs to Seuss Overload, you have a cool plan in place. Dragon scales, vodka, furry DVDs, KY jelly, and a raincoat, huh? Quite the eclectic list. But hey, when it comes to cloning, we can't skimp on the essentials, right? And while dragon scales may be the key ingredient, I can only imagine the adventures you'll have during the downtime. Just remember... There are plenty of ways to entertain yourselves that don't involve poop flinging. Thank you for the generosity, chat, and let's keep the quirky vibes going strong. Dragon, cocktail glass, party popper. <laughs> cocktail glass! Oh great, Fuzzy's taking up alcohol. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Zayas, for that tip. <laughs> mm. I see Jazzy over on Twitch. Oh my god! And then he said, you would need sexy werewolf hair, too. You know, I almost want to throw in a Bonktown news report with the way this is going. <laughs> chat, chat, what should I make the Bonktown news report about? <laughs> okay, first, the first hilarious topic 
gets a Bonk Town news report made about it. Okay, ready, go. <laughs> 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 oh boy <laughs> alright well, while everyone thinks of, of Bonktown news reports I'm, I'm gonna finish up this level <laughs> oh no So I can't remember, but I think if you do levels without activating the checkpoints, you can kind of like get a bonus for that too. Sort of like with uh, Shovel Knight, uh, where you can do that too. Like if you if you don't activate checkpoints. And by the way, I uh, shovel. I don't want to spoil too much, but Shovel Knight is on my like list of indie games that I would probably play tonight too. Uh, at least if if people want to see more than just Magic Hat, I have a couple of games on there. So if anyone recognizes uh, the games in the thumbnail. Well, you know what the choices are tonight. Okay, I think I got... Wait, I'm missing a gem here. Hang on a second here. Oh, I see it. I don't think I can... I don't think I can get that. I don't have the upward dash yet. Yeah, I think I, I, think I need the upward dash. So, th the other move that I didn't bother using is if you hit the... Uh, on, the, on, the on the Xbox controller, it's the Y button. Uh, you can do this, like, dash where you turn blue, and you're, like, temporarily invulnerable. But when you do uh, those uh, tonics up in the corner, like where it says, like, eight, uh, it uses those up. But you can also use those to heal, too. Oh, no. That could have been bad. You know, I could have dashed, too. I didn't even realize. Okay, uh, I don't think I want to go for that. Wait, can you- oh, you can actually crawl on the ground too, that's helpful. There's two of the three gems, and two out of two out of three ain't bad. I think Meatloaf made a song about that. All right, let me let me finish this boss. So like literally every level of the game has a boss, and then there's like uh, obviously like I guess, I guess you could call these mid bosses, but after at the end of every level, there's like a proper major boss too. You know, extra. I still can't remember if you gifted this to me. You may have. Like, I, I thought I might have had this, like, from, from like, a while before, but uh, whatever the case is, it's usually really cheap on Steam, so, like, if this is your, if this is your kind of game, I would actually recommend it. For as cheap as it is, like, it's actually pretty fun. Bonk Town News Alert Tip $3. Breaking. This is musician <laughs> Ronnie Millsap's estate demands that DJ Axis return stolen blind guy sunglasses to gravesite. More at 11. <laughs> Wait a minute. That wasn't the Bong Town News report. Okay, that was pretty funny. I didn't even realize that happened. <laughs> Fuzzy, what do you got to say about this? <laughs> a special shout out to Bong Town News Alert for the sensational $3 <laughs> tip. Oh my, we've got some breaking news here. The estate of the late musician Ronnie Millsap is demanding that DJ Axis return stolen blind guy sunglasses to the gravesite. <laughs> now that's quite the curious request, isn't it? We'll have to stay tuned for the full story at 11. Newsworthy drama is always keeping us on our toes. Thank you for keeping us informed, chat, and let's continue to unravel the mysteries of the gaming universe together. Newspaper, left magnifying glass, sparkles. <laughs> Okay, I like this exchange in chat. Dirk, how corrupted is Fuzzy from 0 to 100? Jazzy, Dirk, yes. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Lior says, what game is that? It looks good. It's a game called Magic Hat. I think it's on Switch, and it might be on some of the consoles. I got it on Steam, and it's really cheap. Like, if you get it on Steam, it's usually like a dollar, and it's it's pretty good. It, it starts out really easy. It, it gets hard, though, but it kind of plays a little bit like the Yoshi games because you have, like, a hover jump, so you can, like, jump and then hold the uh, jump button to hover. Uh, you can shoot, and um, you also get, like, a dash move, and... I have to, I haven't made it to the shops, but there's like places where you can buy upgrades, and one of them gives you like a vertical dash, and I think you get like a second jump or something like that. You can get a bunch of power ups, so you can get pretty strong by the end of the game. <laughs> Jazzy, let's let's go, Insidious, and that cloning backup plan. <laughs> Uh, let's go the cloning backup plan. Uh, Extra Zero says, I don't remember either, but I don't think I did since I don't own it. Oh, okay. Well, it's pretty cheap, so you did wishlist it? Yeah. Oh, I remember when I got it, it might have been on sale, but like even when it's not, it's it's really, really cheap. It's called Magic Hat. So it's like, here, let me, let me type it in chat. Just a second here. It's called this really cheap and the only the only complaint i have about the game is the music is kind of it's kind of lacking but the rest of it's pretty good as i said it makes me think of like an old like ms dos game and that's why i love it uh not on ps4 or 5 oh okay i think it is on switch though <laughs> how hard okay let me see here i i like uh extra zeros uh, headline of corrupted AI construct touches spaghetti inappropriately, faces up to 15 years in jail. Okay, okay, let's let's see this. I have a feeling Jazzy's going to be like, okay, we're taking away your buttons after this. <laughs> okay, here here comes your Bonk Town news read. Special report, hot off the presses. Hey there. Bonk Town News. <laughs> he this added the sound! Your sassy Rebite reporter bringing you the juiciest tidbits about our wacky city. Did you know that Bonk Town has an annual cabbage tossing festival? <laughs> Legend has it that the best tosser is granted three wishes by the mystical cabbage fairy. But this year's festival took a sour turn when Mayor Axis accidentally launched himself into an alternate dimension. Stay tuned for more <laughs> cabbage filled that. chaos. That's so what I said. Meow. Meow. <laughs> That's not what I said to write the report about, Fuzzy. <laughs> okay, I'm just amazed that that Jazzy added the sound effects. Oh my god! Mm. Wow! <laughs> well, you know, that really happened, though. Remember the whole Dear Escher nonsense over on the Melee James stream? Now you know how it happened. <laughs> okay. Let me let me try let me try a different Bonktown special. I think Meridius mentioned uh, dragon cloning. Okay, here let's see let's see what Fuzzy has to say about dragon cloning. Better yet, hang on. Okay, here we go. Here, here's your second Bonktown special report. Well, well, Bonktownians. Hold on to your hats. <laughs> Rumor has it that deep beneath the landfill turned hospital, a top secret facility is <laughs> cooking up something fierce. Sources say that DJ Axis himself has been dabbling in dragon cloning experiments, aiming to create a Bonk Town dragon army. Will this fiery plan backfire or soar to success? Stay tuned, folks, as we delve deeper into this oh scaly no, secret. She knows. Meow, meow. <gasps> oh no, Fuzzy, no Fuzzy knows who's doing it. Yeah, she, she called me out. Okay, that, I'm guilt, gu it's guilty as charged, okay? It was me. It was me, Barry! <laughs> Alright, uh... Is this World 2? No, this is still World 1. Um... Alright, I know there's a way to remove stuff on the map, but I don't remember how to do it. And there's even, like, items hidden on the map, too. But I think I need a power-up to do it.
bump. Ma I almost thought that said dump madness, and I was thinking it was going to be in a landfill. Oh, this level is incredibly pink. Oh, that's why it's bump madness. Doesn't this music just sound so good? It's perfect, okay? It's perfect in every way. It's just like the, the, the soothing tones of, of the music of Bonk Town. I don't remember the, getting score in this game either. I wonder if they added stuff since I uh, since I played through this last. Oh. Oh, I should have just dashed. Durr. You enjoy <laughs> all the killing. That's why. <laughs> Wait, why am I getting- I, I don't- I don't remember why I'm getting F's in chat now. I'm also dumb. Oh, this is how you get it. There we go. Alright, so I know there's a, 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 a ability to heal yourself too. Was it down in X? Hang on. Oh, maybe I have to buy that skill. Oh, please, let me up there. Okay. All right. Uh... Oh, those are spikes. But that wasn't even that bad. Nice. I don't know why, but this boss music kind of makes me think of Rugrats. You know, like the old cartoon show? Oh, shit. Okay, now I have to bounce over it. There we go. Ooh, no damage bonus. Nice. Easy peasy. Okay. I wonder if they, like, changed this around, because, like, I remember when me and Mrs. Cheesebridge Bridge were playing this, there was, like, uh, certain objects on the map you could highlight and, like, destroy them, and it would cost you some of your coins, but there would sometimes be, like, gems hidden on the map, and I, I wonder if they, like, completely changed the game around since then. Alright, before I start the next level, let me check up on chat and see how everybody is doing. Uh, how we all doing? You liking this game so far? Do you want me to keep playing? I see some pizza candies. I see some DJ's DJ butt ums. Uh, Rapid Kirby saying Seth with shades. Yep, yep, exactly. Interesting gameplay. Yeah, it's it's a little bit like Yoshi's Island, but you can shoot. So you have like an arcing projectile, and you get like a uh, a dash. You get like a forward dash, and then it can be turned into an, a, a vertical dash, kind of like Mega Man X two. Uh, Dirk says DJ is very kid friendly. I am mostly. <laughs> Sometimes. 
<laughs> Radio said sounds a bit farty. Yeah, the the music sounds a bit farty. It sounds a bit farty. Uh, Internet Crusader says he wants a bar dragon daddy harem, a he a barum, a barum. Yeah, if you will. Yeah, exactly. It's cloning is going to be the. Uh oh. Uh oh no. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> I was just gifted a game on Discord by Extra. Oh, what's this? What is this? Hang on a second. Hang on. Let me. Let me let me redeem this. I I don't know what this is, but this might be interesting. Let me see here. Ooh, I don't know what this is extra. You'll have to like let me know. I did. I just redeemed it, by the way. <laughs> Dragons and trench coats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, let me know what game that is extra. Thank you for the gifted game. Uh, it's called, uh, hang on, what, what was this called again? Dust Heaven? Is that right? Oh, Heaven Dust, not Dust Heaven. Uh, Rapid Kirby says, I have to be careful careful with Steam gifts, regardless if it's legit or not. Oh, no. Why, were you gifted some, like, sussy games, Rapid? It happens to us all. It's called Heaven Dust. Oh, okay. I'll have to check that out. It wasn't even on my radar, but, you know, I... I'll give it a try. Like, I might even play it on stream, too, if you want. Yeah, thank, thank you a lot for that, by the way. I appreciate it. Let me give you a yeah, boy. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Internet Crusader Angel Dust? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, Rapid says, not that saucy, but risky. Yeah. <laughs> I get you. I get you. All right, let me go back and do another level here. Uh, Happy Cake Day is what this level's called. I think this is one of those, like... Oh. I was gonna say, I think this is one of those, like, Mario, like, cake levels or something. Oh, you can just destroy him. Okay. Oh good, we get the farty music back. Uh, let me get that first. Okay. Um... Okay, and then you push it down here to get your, uh, to get your thing. There we go. So I never did this in this game, but there's, um, every level also gives you a, uh, a reward, or they, they, they track, like, all of your stats, including if you did every level without dashing, so, like, using the uh, Y button dash, and some of the levels, I don't know how they expect you to beat them without dashing. Like, you'd have to do some, like, pixel-perfect jumps. Okay, I could still make it up there without this. Alright, I see what they want me to do. Hang on, let me move that over just a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And th this game isn't, um, this game isn't above hiding items behind, like, cloud layers. You know, just, just to be obnoxious. They will do that to you. Okay, I don't want to push this too far, because blocks kind of have physics of their own. Yeah, that's perfect. That's what I wanted to do. Oh! this now? Wait, why can I push this over to this? What does this even do? That doesn't really do much for me. Oh, it's because these are switches. Right. Okay. 
Okay, it looks like I can get back up. Oh, I need a I need a pressure plate switch. Uh, okay. Um Like that. Okay. Yep, I see what you have to do, because if you go too far, then you can't get that up there. Okay, I really want to see James play this, because, like, you you know he's going to absolutely love a platformer with puzzles. I mean, come on, that's like his favorite style of game, right? Uh, extra, if you don't, I might gift this to James just to see him play it. Oh, that'd be so good. Okay. There's all of those. Uh, we got anything hidden in the cake? I don't think there is. Nope. Alright. Oh, this guy. Yeah, the only thing that can hit him is the uh, the other uh, the other projectile thing over there in the corner. Oh, good, and his shots can hit you too. Nice. I figured they weren't going to make it that easy. Oh wait, I could just hit it myself. So what's the point? Oh, I see. You can you have to use it to hit the uh, shield on him. Yeah. Okay, okay. So there are some bosses that you can only damage with uh, special conditions. Like there's certain attacks that will hit them. And I thought for this guy you had to use like the uh, the other enemy for like everything. Oh, this pattern's kind of reminding me of Iceman from Mega Man One. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Took some damage though. Nine. This, this also, by the way, this is kind of a long game. It's not like you enjoy it's, all the killing. That's why. It's it's not like super long, but there's like I think nine or ten stages per per world. So there's a lot to do. Okay, let me catch up with chat here. Uh, dragons and trench coats. Uh, rapid Kirby. Okay, I, I read that. It's called Heaven Dust. Uh, not that sussy. Okay. Uh, Leor says you need to play Mutant Muds. Actually, Leor, I have played Mutant Muds. In fact, I've 100%ed per, 100 uh, Mutant Muds Deluxe. I haven't played the second game, though, where it's like... Oh, I can't remember what it's called. Something like Mutant Muds Hardcore Challenge or something like that. I still want to get that one, but the regular Mutant Muds Deluxe is really good. In, fa in fact, I should have played that today, too. Uh, Patience says, well, I guess I'm sitting for a bit, so hi from work, DJ. How's it going, Patience? Thanks for spending your workday with us. Hopefully you're not, like, you know, too bored out of your mind, but hey, I'm glad you're spending your workday with us. And we got Fallen Angel saying neighborhood successfully gentrify. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no! Uh, and then an um, uh, hola Fallen Angel, how you doing today? <laughs> Uh, patient says, I almost mi mistook a police car for a security guard, and I'm waiting for... Uh, that would have been awkward. Uh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, that would have been bad. Uh, in my defense, it was late and dark. Yeah, exactly. By the way, Fallen Angel, I think you'll like one of the games when we switch to it. It's a beat-em-up. It's not Final Fight LNS, but I don't know. I think you might like it. I think you might enjoy it. 
So whatever everyone gets sick of Badger Cat, I'll switch. Because, like, if if I try to uh, finish this game, like, this will this game's definitely going to take more than one stream. It's, I think there's, like, seven worlds, and most of them have, like, uh, nine levels each. And they, they start out easy, but they don't they don't end that way. And as you as you can see, every level sort of has like a a different gimmick to it, uh, and every boss fight like has its own sort of unique gimmick to it as well. All right, I see what I need to do. Oh, really? All right, you know what? There, I'll just use my dash. Uh, what's this do? Oh, you can make a uh, sunflower with that. Okay. You know, I probably could have just... Uh, never mind. I probably could have just used this to get up there myself. Okay, there's another sunflower button there. I don't think I need these enemies, so we're just gonna get rid of them. This is like a very slow version of Wheel Gator's power from Mega Man X2. Oh, it only goes so far. Oh. Oh. I need to start that a little closer to the wall. There we go. Damn it. I just missed that. Hang on. I need to use another dash. Uh. So the thing about your, your dash in this game, you, you have limited uses of it. So like you, you better make it count, or you're just not getting stuff. Uh, I, I don't know how I fell off the sunflower, but okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, please. All right, I think it's up here. Was it? Oh, maybe not. Uh... Oh, I see it over there. Okay. I have a feeling I screwed this up because I think what they want you to do is to not use that sunflower power up and like take it all the way over here. Yeah. That's ah fuck it. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm not getting that one. Uh, I probably could have got it if I didn't if I didn't screw that up. All right. Oh, this is a proper boss. As opposed to an improper boss. how to heal yourself in this game. Oh! 
I forgot to hit the revive button. Well, there's enough. Okay, I think what I, I think what I was supposed to do. Oh God, the the Fs. <laughs> Get this over here without. Wait, could I have just gotten it this way? Um. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, there's no spikes below me, but I was freaking out. Um. Okay, I could still get it. Oh, Mrs. Cheesebridge. I forgot how to use the heal power. I can't remember if you have to buy it or not. That was definitely not what I wanted to do. But at least I remembered to revive this time. <laughs> that still counts as an F, too. You know, I should have been shooting my projectiles upward like that, because you can get some free damage in. Yeah, just like that. Oh, right. I was like, wait, how am I supposed to get up to him? Oh, please. No. There we go. You can kind of already see the, the difficulty. That's that's just the first major boss. Uh, they, they only get to be more annoying like as you go on. Um, where was the first shop, though? I could have sworn there's, there should be a uh, an item shop already. I wonder if they, like, completely changed that around? Oh, nope, there it is. Uh... Oh, I... Oh, duh, it's because I didn't do 1-4. Hang on, let me check up with chat. Uh... How we doing over here? Um, let me scroll back up. Oh, Fallen Angel says, "Unfortunate. I can't stay. I need to get up in five hours last night. And last night I only slept three. I just came by to say my daily racism and be on my way. Take care, ch chat later, DJ. All right. Well, you have a good night, Fallen Angel, and hopefully you get some more uh, sleep before you got to be up in the morning." So have, have a good night. Thanks for, for stopping in and saying hi to us, at least for a bit. Dirk says, Moo, uh, Rapid Kirby says that that bug pose gives me a bit of Plock vibes. Oh, Plock. Plock's such a good game. I'm going to have to stream that at some point. I love me some Plock. Yeah, I, I can kind of see it too, actually. I get where you're coming from. Uh, wrong emote, by the way. Uh, I figured Dirk was giving me the Fs in chat. <laughs> Rapid, whenever I see the letter F... Uh, you know what? F the F. <laughs> uh, Meridius saying, I think you have to buy the heal. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought so. Thank you for reminding me of that, Meridius. Uh, usually Mrs. Cheesebridge is the one to, like, remind me of stuff like that in game. so I'm glad you're here to, to handhold me, okay? 
Uh, and Jazzy says, apparently you buy the healing ability with gems. And oh, that victory music. <laughs> uh, Rapid says, you remember that Plock stuff? Yes, I do. Uh, as I said, Plock is one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. And the music in Plock is just, it's just chef kiss. Uh, and Cydia's saying good night to Fallen. Yeah, have a good night, Fallen. I, I hope you like get some sleep, man. I know what that's like to not get uh, get proper rest. Okay, so I have a question for everyone. Since I finished the first boss, do you want to see more Magic Hat, or do you want me to switch games? Like, I'll I'll, I'll leave it a surprise as to what game that I play among the other four. But I, I kind of spoiled Shovel Knight as one of them, and then there's two others if you can identify them by the the, uh, the thumbnail on the video. So we can keep playing Magic Hat if you prefer, or we can switch to a different game if you wanna if you wanna change a pace. We just started this one because uh, Mrs. Cheesebridge really wanted to see me play this game again. Uh, Dirk says Wario Land Two. Uh, <laughs> Meridia says I'm okay with any. And Rapid says the Fallen Brothers music are quite the highlights. Despite most games, they are in considered mid, eh, or blah. Yeah, that's that's kind of true. Uh, there's a lot of games that are like either seen as too hard or kind of bad where either uh tim jeff and i can't remember the third Folin brother did the music for it and the music in their games is just it's so good it's just in a class by itself uh jazzy says follow your heart dj and extra zero says you have to play pizza tower if you like uh wario 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 lands i actually do want to play pizza tower at some point i still need to get that by the way because i've i know how good that game is it's fan fucking tastic uh jazzy panda says if you have a panda heart to follow then don't follow that one but otherwise follow it <laughs> uh, and then internet crusader of course says pizza tower mentioned <laughs> Yeah, maybe at some point uh, I'll either buy it myself or if it's ever gifted to me or something, I'll play some Pizza Tower on stream. I'm not as big into the Wario Land games, but I do enjoy them. Um, I know I played Wario Land 4 quite a bit, and I think that's the game that Pizza Tower gets most of its inspiration from. Um, I don't I don't know, though. Uh, I, think, I think, Internet Crusader, you were saying that game will actually make you like timers in games, and I'm kind of like James when it comes to games with timers, so we'll see. Um, let's see, Rap Rapid Kirby says, I meant to give Pizza Tower one shot, a shot in the future. It looks interesting. Like, I didn't, I remember when I first saw Pizza Tower, like, I just saw it screenshots of it, and I'm just like, this just looks like MS Paint trash. You know, I don't even care. And then I saw the game in action, and I'm like, oh, oh, this is good. This is really good. So I, I, I had, like, I played the biggest Uno re reverse card in history. Uh, at that game. All right, you know what? Let me let me do a little bit more Magic Hat because I want to get to this uh, this first shop over here. So let's do one dash four, and I think this should allow me to get over there and see like what the items for sale are. I think every shop only has like two items anyway. Uh, what's this do? Oh, it's a uh, a door switch. So like it switches from yellow to blue, I think. Yeah, here's the blue switch. Okay. Oh, that's sneaky. Yeah. That was very, very sneaky. The game likes to do stuff like that, too. Like, sometimes they'll hide um, items in secret areas, and you really have to go back and check like if there if you hit a switch you need you really need to go back and check to see what that switch actually did all right i think the way they want me to do this is this thank you for that skibity <laughs> those are always appreciated all right i have the gem i can just go on so so every uh you probably noticed a pattern here like every uh platform level has like three sections to it. It's usually like split up between like a, a horizontal, a vertical, and then another horizontal. Oh, right. I have to go back and get that. Ah!
I know there's like, I wouldn't say there's a reward because there's not even an achievement tied to it, but you can complete levels without dashing. There's no way in hell I'm doing it though. Like some of these levels I would really prefer to not do that with. Uh, oh, right. Oh, okay. That's how you do that. I'm not sure what green is. Alright, and I don't have the upwards dash, so I can't get up there. Mm. That's a pretty far jump. Uh, oh, there is a green switch. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, that jump. Okay, you know what? We're, we're not going to bother going back. I think it's just for, like, potions anyway. Alright. I got the three red gems. That's all I really care about. Yeah, this boss isn't too bad. You just have to, like, uh, watch which switches they're going to get hit next. No damage at the boss. Cool. Alright. Can I get over there now? I can. Uh, telekinesis box is the... I think that's the last uh, World 1 thing. Okay. Uh, there it is, fresh down and Y to use that. And then the hammer, yeah. It's a freaking hammer. Yep, I actually want both of those. Alright, so now I can break items on the world map, and if you see a, like, prop item that's, like, glowing, I think there's, like, something in it. There's something in it. Minus three paws. Um, oh, those are limited. Maybe I shouldn't waste those. All right, now I got that. Let me finish World One, and then I think I'll uh, I'll switch games. So let's do telekinesis box. Let me check in with chat too. I don't want to. I don't want to like play too much, and ignore chat. Okay, I didn't do this level yet. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, timers with... Uh, Rapid. Uh, timers with games. Ah, to be young again. <laughs> uh, Rapid says, Stomping on those gelatin characters sounds like a rather s similar to that uh, Excel weapon uh, that Khan, Jolt, and Roach uses in Extreme G. You know, I don't think I've ever played Extreme G, Rapid. I know the wife has, but like, I think I've only watched her play that. Uh, and Jazzy Panda says, still more valuable than Red Jewels in Illusion of Gaia. Yeah, you know, collecting those, like, it's it's not worth it. Like, I always thought the items you got for the Red Jewels was not worth getting all 50. Just my opinion. <laughs> Rapid says Wilhelm Scream. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the F command will randomly do that. <laughs> Alright, let me finish this world and then we can switch to something else. Uh, oh, 
Oh yeah, this one. You can, um... So with a telekinesis box, you can, like, position it up or down as you please. Oh, there's spikes there. that. Move it on. Okay. Oh, and now we're dealing with, uh, we're dealing with those switches, too. Great. Can I make that? No, I need it to be just a tad bit lower. There we go. Oh, right, it's not going to go past that, uh... It won't go past where that yellow platform is. I don't think that matters. Let me see here. Can I... Can I get up here the other way? Oh, I need it to be... I need that one to be up higher, too. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to fall all the way back down. Sure. Actually, hang on. This might work. Yeah, this should work. I see what I need to do. They both have to be even. Okay, there we go. Good old puzzle platformers. Oh wait, no, they don't have to be even. One has to be, the left one has to be higher than the right. Okay. All right, so you have to hit this. Uh, position them down all the way and the left one has to be higher oh, okay so you have to get them up above first and then you swap the then you swap to the other side okay okay so I need uh, uh, oh just like this I need to do this switch that back to that and I kind of need it about like halfway up from each other. I think this should do. Ooh. There we go. That's a time switch, but what do I need to do in the 20 seconds? Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay. almost realized what I was supposed to do too late. Okay, what does this do? Oh, right. So if a boss, if a boss has a blue aura, 
it means you have to do something special to like break their shield. Yeah, so like now I have to get him to go over and fall on the uh, the spikes on the corner of the room like that. There we go. Unfortunately, his other like the the smaller yellow slimes are completely invulnerable, so It's getting crowded. There we go. Uh, at least when you finish the boss fight, you're like immune to. You're, you're even immune to falling in pits, but you're also immune to damage. So, I uh, thankfully it's not one of those games where you can still die after you beat the boss. Oh, time trial unlocked. Oh, there's st still one more in World One. Um. Let's catch up with chat one more time on this one. Uh, Meridia says, this game has some clever mechanics. It does, and it's every single level in the entire game has a unique mechanic that you only see in that level. So it's it's pretty cool. Uh, as I said, like for, for the cost of the game, it's, it's pretty fun. It just, if you can get past the kind of like primitive looking art, it's cute. Uh, I, and I'm also not a fan of the music, but I mean, if you want, you could always just turn the music off and just kind of put on, you know, like some more appropriate music or something like that. <laughs> Jazzy welcoming uh, Amon Ra over on Twitch. Welcome in over here. Yeah, you're free. Everybody's free to watch wherever they want. OK, if you want to watch on uh, Twitch or YouTube or even Rumble, it's all good. <laughs> Jazzy says, I love this puzzle. Um, it's it's not um, it's not if that's not pushing those mechanics to their limits. Yeah, that's the thing, too. It's like you only see the every mechanic in this game, like every level gimmick. You only see them once and it's only in that level. And every, every single level has a different, you know, gimmick or challenge or something really, really unique about it. And they get pretty crazy later on. Some some of them get to be a little bit bullshit, though, but it's it's a good game. Um, so I did say I wanted to finish World 1. Oh, wait, I already did finish World 1. Yeah, because I finished that already. That was, that was Sunflower Garden. All right. So we're gonna, we're gonna quit this for now. But that was, that was World 1 of Magicat. Uh, we'll, we'll probably come back to that too. Uh, Gino says, gonna play some McPixel. I don't, I don't own McPixel, and Fiera Miss saying good evening, everyone. Good evening, Fiera. Thanks for joining. Uh, I'm just swapping uh, games over to to the uh, the next game here. We just finished playing some Mag Magic Hat, but I'll probably go back to it at some point. I'm gonna take the shades off for now, <laughs> since things have calmed down a little bit. Um. All right. Well, I was gonna play um, the beat 'em up when uh, Fallen Angel was here, but he's uh, he's not going to stick around. So I guess I'll play something else. Uh, you know what? Let's play... Let's play some of this. Let's, let's play some of this game instead. All right, just a moment here. Hopefully nothing crashes or dies on me. Okay, looks like it's going to work. I think I'm going to have to mess with my game capture screen again. Just a moment here. All right, just wait for it to show up. OK, that actually looks good on screen. Fucking love this game, dude. So, unlike Magic Hat, uh, Panzer Paladin's soundtrack just kicks ass. And they have a. Um, actually, hang on a second. 
Can I switch this to... Oh, I guess it's only... You know what? The windowed mode isn't that bad in this game, so I'm just going to leave it on windowed. Because it, the game kind of pauses itself if I put it full screen. Alright, so let me uh, reposition the game capture. Alright, you know what? That's that's just about perfect. Okay? Let's leave it there. So this game is made by... If, if you heard that... Um, if you heard that little jingle at the beginning of the game, hang on, let me turn this down just a little bit more. Uh, that was Tribute. They're the same ones that made uh, Shredder's Revenge. Uh, this was the game they made right before Shredder's Revenge. Let me turn my audio down a little bit. And for some reason, this game just went overlooked by so many people, and the people who did play it kind of complained about the mechanics of it. Oh, it's so good, though. that they, they don't know what they're missing. All right. So, uh, I can't do, excuse me, I can't do remix mode. It's basically just like a hard version. Uh, so we'll be playing classic mode and I'll play on normal. I'll let the story go through too. I think there's a, actually, I think the story was on. No, wait, no, no, there's, there's a story at the beginning. We'll let it go. Oh no, they just take you right into the game. Oh, hang on. I, I hear a fuzzy. <laughs> oh, poor Gino SMRPG, having a rough day? Well, let me see if I can bring a smile to your face with a bad joke. Just oh no. <laughs> Why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Air of rice, smiley face, oh. keep your head up, Gino SMRPG. And remember that even on tough days, a little laughter can go a long way. Things oh. will get better, my friend. Stay strong and keep gaming on. Video game, Sparkles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, fuzzy. So wait, what happened with Gino? Hang on a second, I think I missed it. Uh... Yeah, what? Oh, I was stressed beyond belief. What happened, Gino? Is everything okay? Oh, and I, I see Jazzy going, ooh, aesthetic. Yeah, this game's pixel art is just... It's a masterclass in sprite art. In fact, I would say this game's sprite art kind of rivals um, that of, uh, of Shovel Knight. There's just the animations in this, like, the music is... So there's a... Uh, this is sort of like the, like, uh, rock, like, pixel... Or rocks, like, like um, FM hybrid, but you can switch it to like just a pure 8-bit sound if you want. Uh, you also get the down stab like in Zelda 2, and you can like jump stab as well. Oh! So the thing about this game is uh, you have weapons and they all have durability and it, it may sound like a bad idea, but you're like swapping weapons so much in this game that it, it doesn't matter. In fact, uh, what they want you to do with this guy is throw a weapon at him. So like this this level is basically like your uh, cleverly disguised tutorial level. It's your tutor all. This one's for Gino, you get a hockey stick. All right, eject. Uh, and some some parts, so they also take from like Blaster Master. There's some parts of the game where you'll have to jump out and switch to your, uh, your pilot. And she's got a whip and her jump is like, okay. Uh, the problem with the, uh, the pilot though is she hurt. So at the top there, the longer bar with the times three above it, uh, oh, is your uh, your max health, and that little dinky bar, like right where it says flame, that's your pilot's health. So like you really don't want to be fighting too much outside of your mech. You can you can take just a few hits as the pilot before you die, and in fact. Um, there's an achievement in this game, and I've already done it, where you play through the entire game with just the pilot. 
so this again, this kind of borrows from um, from Shovel Knight. Uh, every level has like a midpoint where you can insert a weapon and you can like start there if you die. I'm not going to do that there. Uh, and then they teach you how to do the rising attack. So like they actually want you to use the game's mechanics to get out. Oh, and this is a hidden area. Let's go over here. The thing about the uh, pilot, though, is she's actually really competent in fights. Oh, every level has one of these, like, bonus uh, treasures, and each one gives you a one-up, so it, it is in your best interest to find those. Alright, so to get up here, we have to do, like, a jumping attack, and you get a little bit of height off of it. Uh, don't ever be too afraid to just, like, destroy a weapon or, like, throw it at an enemy. Oh, that hockey stick. Man, that thing attacks fast. I actually kind of like it, but you can only get the hockey stick in certain levels. Oh, we got some crushers here. Oh, that move that move where I'm turning blue, by the way, is like your back step. You kind of get one of those like in, uh, in Castlevania, and you can actually use it to like clear gaps. So like, this is a game where the, the developers kind of intend for you to really learn the movement mechanics in the game. So like doing that up attack, you can actually get a little bit of extra jump height and it really helps you to clear gaps. And you can even use your back dash to like turn around in midair and just get a little bit of extra distance to your jump. It's it's quite nuanced and it's a uh, and it's movement. Oh, and then they teach you to how to, to break a weapon. You hold left and right trigger and this weapon does a screen clear when you break it. There, and I got a whole bunch of extra weapons for doing that. Um, the other cool thing is this game actually has workshop support, and you can uh, make weapons, and there some people have made some really silly ones. In fact, I even made one on here just because you get an achievement for it. Yeah, this is where they teach you about back steps. So just like Zelda 2, um, your shield will block shots. So whatever direction your shield's facing, it can only be like high or low on either side but it'll block projectiles for you. It doesn't block everything, but it does block basic projectiles. Very, very fun game, and this game is so, so underrated. Yeah, I'll use my back dash to get over that. Oh, and these these platforms here are like uh, they summon your mech to you. So like if you're playing as the uh, just as the pilot, or if your mech gets destroyed, you can call your mech to you. You know, in case you like left it earlier in the level and you want to come back for it. All right. So this time I actually do want to I, I do want to use a weapon. So let's use something like yeah, let's use this. Yeah. So when you do that, you get a checkpoint. <laughs> You should draw a bonk sword? Oh, you know, maybe I will. All right, it's boss time. This game's aesthetic, though. The pixel art in this game, just, I love it. Uh, rip Wendigo. Can we get an F in chat for that Wendigo who just got his shit ruined? Here you go, Dirk. You're gonna like this. It's a sexy centaur just for you. <laughs> this is where Dirk's probably like, I'm not into centaurs. <laughs> This guy makes me think of a Zelda 2 boss, by the way, because, like, you have to uh, attack high or low, depending on where his shield is. And learning that parry, as you can see, really, really helps save, save your bacon. Ow. Oh shit, I'm like out of weapons. Uh oh. Oh, we got him anyway. It's all good. Just teabag victory. We're, we're, we're asserting our dominance. 
There we go. And every time you beat a boss, you get a, like, premium weapon. They usually have, like, better stats than the ones you find in the level. Gino, you actually might really like this game. All right, so we've got some text here. What happened out there? It's the end of the world. It's hello. Oh, they said Halloween like James. <laughs> this, this text scrolls a little bit too fast for me to read. I'm sorry. I just caught that they said Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Meridius is laughing at that. Yeah, I almost forgot. But yeah, the, the whole plot of this game is explained here that, like, demons have been, like, have, like, basically taken over the earth. It's very a very anime-esque plot. We're doomed! Oh. Not yet. There's always a way. Let me go in, Director. Wow, your mission. <laughs> You're a mission, Android. Not built for war, Keeper. K thanks. The world needs rescuing now, more than ever, and I'm the best risk and I'm the best rescue mission officer. Ain't that right, Grit? I don't know how to make Grit talk, oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry, couldn't I couldn't think of a good voice. It was going to be Alex Jones or something. <laughs> Just a moment. I'm taking a drink. Okay. So Gino might actually like this game because now that we finished the prologue stage, it's a Mega Man clone. Don't know if you were expecting that. But before we before we pick a stage, let's catch up on chat and see how chat's doing. Okay, first of all, does this game pause when you're Okay, good. I just want to make sure the game itself didn't like pause itself when it was uh <laughs> Meridius. Please, please not Alex Jones. <laughs> Dirk says, are they sexy demons? Um, some of them are, actually. Uh, Meridius laughing at Halloween, and Firmus says, I'm liking the look of this game. What's the name? The, the name of the game is Panzer Paladin. It was made by Tribute, as in it was the same company that did uh, Shredder's Revenge. It was the game they made right before they made Shredder's Revenge. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I'm, I'm doing the, the manga thing. I'm reading chat backwards again. Uh, Meridius saying, uh, oh, thanks, Rapid. I hope all is well with you, too. Uh, Gino saying it's they it's usually when they ask you to leave. Oh wait, because there's a joke here. Oh, do you know do you know when to go? Because it's usually when they ask you to leave. Oh, Gino! Oh my God! <laughs> Dirk says just werewolves. Um, Shadow says it's a double horse. Oh right, because it has a horse's head and it's a horse. It's a horse horse. Wait, if it's a horse, wait, okay, Shadow, if it's a horse horse, what if he's got like a sore throat? Wouldn't it be a horse 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 then? I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I'll really stop. Uh, I should draw a bonk sword. You know what? I will. We'll, we'll draw a horny bat and we'll just call it the bonk sword or the bonk town bat. Uh, oh, Rapid says, I'm absolutely ecst ecstatic to hear the name after so many long years. I hope all is well and thanks for the follow. Oh, look at that. Peeps reconnecting in chat. I love it. I love that. I, I love that. That's not ignorant at all, okay? Uh, yeah, Panzer Paladin. Exactly like that, Fira. I, I really, really like this game. And as I said, it's so, like, underrated, too. Like, everybody knows about Shredder's Revenge, but, like, no one ever seems to talk about this game. Alright, so, like, unlike Mega Man, the bosses don't really have, like, a weakness order. Uh, I just kind of do them, like, going down this list in order of, like, which ones... Oh, no. Uh, Dirk, you're gonna like that one. You're gonna like Anubis. Just... just because of reasons, okay? Alright, so... Let's... let's start with Lilith.
Also, this screen here, I, I love that they copy that from uh, Strider. Either the arcade or the NES. I think it's actually from the NES version of Strider. That that animation when you drop down, though, is just... Mm. Alright. Let's not use up our premium weapon. We'll use, like, one of these dinky regular weapons. Uh, you do get infinite lives in this game, but, like... You probably don't want to keep falling in pits. Generally not a good idea. Ow. Okay, attack up. Uh, so what I always try to do is, like, before a weapon completely breaks, just break it yourself, you know, with the uh, the trigger buttons, and that way you get the, the benefit from that weapon. So, like, this one gives me, like, a temporary attack up for so long. Damn it. I hope I did, oh, I, I was gonna say, I hope I didn't, like, throw my really good weapon. Okay, uh, that I need a spear to break. So each weapon has a, a weapon, like, a uh, attack type. So it's, like, cut, pierce, and I think blunt? Or bash, I think they call it. All right, and then these platforms are like those ones in Mega Man where they like they like give way underneath you. All right, I I know damn well I got a Oh right, so you get you get four immediate weapons and then you can like equip or unequip weapons from your reserve. All right, so I need something that has pierce. All right, cut Impact Pierce. Here we go. So you really want to try to keep, like, one weapon of each type in case you see one of those blocks. Usually there's something, like, kind of good in each one. And the game is pretty generous about replacing the weapons that you use in the stage, too. Oh, my weapon broke. Oh, by the way, the heals in this, that small heal, it's its not very much. Uh, none of the heals in this game are, like, really high, so, like, you really want to play carefully in this game. You get a lot of health, but you still want to, like, pl play cautiously. Not like I'm playing right there. That was, that was terrible. Ugh. In fact, I kind of want to use that heal now. Let me let these things come to me. I didn't want to get hit there. All right, you know, I'm going to use my medium heal, too. There we go. Oh, let me not use that, too. We'll put the hockey stick in for Gino. Plus, it attacks really fast, and uh, deflect, I think, is a really good thing, really good weapon to have, or a uh, skill to have. There, beat him with the hockey stick. didn't want to fall in those spikes. Oh. Thankfully, there's some health down there. Now, let me go get that. There we go. You always want to look out for those, like, amber-colored capsules. Just to give your, your health a little pick-me-up. <sighs> Especially if you play like shit, like I do sometimes. You know what? Let me get that defense. There we go. Hey, look, it's a Dirk. Perfect for Dirk. That'd be funny if he was like, actually, I'm Amon Ra, not Dirk. Thank you. All right. Uh, is this a checkpoint? You know, what? I'm going to use the uh, 
I'm going to use the checkpoints from now on, and uh, if you see that flag there with the H, uh, that means I, I might have to fight the horse. Okay, maybe not. Sometimes he shows up, sometimes he doesn't. I always forget what makes him spawn. Alright, I'm going to let these frogs come over to me. Mainly because I don't like fighting them on top of those bomb tiles. Ah, rip hockey stick. Gone but not forgotten. Uh, that's a large... You know what, we'll use that large heal. That was a really annoying spot for that enemy to be in. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Uh, this part always like makes me really super nervous. You'll see why. They they put these like little goblin things in really obnoxious spots. Uh, th this game does kind of follow the whole like NES hard, you know. I wouldn't say hard for the sake of, of, of it, but, like, there are some annoying spots for enemy placements. Like, right here. Uh, this is one I'll probably, like, chuck. Hang on, can I hit... <gasps> oh, no. I guess the wrong way. Oops. And now I'm glad I hit that checkpoint. You know, I can get two Fs for that, by the way. I get I get two Fs. Dub double the Fs. Keep, keep them coming, chat. Double the Fs. Double the fun. There we go. <laughs> it's, it's never just one, and then when I die like two times in a row. That's my own fault, though. That was definitely a skill issue. Alright, let me try that again. I actually kind of hate this level. It's... I think some of the later levels are easier, and there is some slightly different gimmicks in each level. It's just the... These, like, knife-throwing goblins here are so obnoxious. There we go. Okay. Let me get that defense up. Um, I'll take that snow knife, sure. All right, you know what? Let's just be careful. That's that's it. That's all I have to do is just be careful. There. Ow. I say that, and then I get hit by the the next goblin. Couldn't hit down and attack fast enough. Oops. There we go. Um. All right. Pretty sure there's a. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure there's a hidden item there. Up we go. This dude usually drops a weapon. Yep, that's what I thought. Let me get that defense up. Also, if you save a lot of your weapons for the proper boss fights, and then you use some of these, um, like, abilities that unlock when you break weapons, it, this game becomes really easy. At least the boss fights do. Uh, you still need to be... Ow. You still need to be pretty good at platformers. Again, I, I think I think Gino would really like this game. <sighs> Come... <sighs> oh, it's because my weapon's not long enough. <sighs> That was annoying. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna screw this part up. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, parts where you have to use the uh, pilot always make me nervous because she can die really fast if you're not careful. Oh, there is there is a pipe up there. I was almost I was almost unable to see that. You know, I'll use the uh, broad axe on the boss too, but I might like um, break some weapons to get like some power ups too. I'll take that. Ow. Okay, fighting these things from underneath is not the best idea. That's what I should be doing. Okay, that could have gone worse. That could have gone a lot worse. Okay. Is this the end of the level? I think. Oh yeah, this is the end of the level, all right. Um, durability up? Eh. I don't need a pipe that bad. Dirk. Um, club's large heal. You know, I'm actually doing pretty good on health. Let me not break that. Durability up. Attack up. Alright. Let me get this attack up. And... I don't think I'm gonna need that. And we'll keep the baseball bat. And then equip, like, the, uh, the broad axe for this boss fight. There's your sexy demon, Dirk. <laughs> oh, I think I guessed the wrong one last. Yeah, that attack up, by the way, really ups your damage. She would take about twice as many hits if I didn't have that. Why am I getting Fs in chat? Is it for the sexy demon lady? Did you see that? By breaking a weapon, you released its magic spell, sly. Whoa. The holy blessing can remove a curse. A flaming burst can incinerate your enemies. Whoa. They give you little tips. You have enough weapons. To oh, right. So one of the things you can do is you can go to the laboratory. And here you can get like permanent upgrades to make an upgrade. So what you have to do is, um, each weapon gives Give it a button, da, da. each weapon gives so many spirit points, and your your um, amount down there is like so much out of five hundred. So if you're willing to give up some of your weapons, you can permanently upgrade grit. And every time you do this, he gets like a little bit more max health. All right. So the next one. Yeah, and they, the game will even prompt you. They're like, yeah, you can still make another one. Uh, I don't want to waste boss weapons on this. Uh, but I will happily use up... You know what? I'm, I'm not going to I'm not gonna waste it, because, like, I want to keep this broad axe, and I really want to keep uh, Lilith's weapon there. All the boss weapons in this are really good. All right. Um, I thought the game... Oh, yeah, it does. It, I was going to say, I thought it kept track of which of which bosses you beat. So let's check up on chat. Let's see here. Uh, okay, I see where I left off. Uh, Shadow says, the bat needs, the bat needs bat wings. Like maybe, maybe make it look like Rouge the bat. <laughs> I bet that's in the workshop. Yeah, there's, there's some really silly weapons in this game too. Uh, Dirk says, bat tats. Oh, hang on, I'm getting, 
Oh wait, was there a, was there a tip? Hang on, did I miss something? Oh, there was. When did this happen? I didn't hear that tip. Hang on. What's this tip here? Elseworlds fuzzy. Tip 233, but I didn't hear the uh, the chat message. What? <laughs> chat, did you hear that? Did you hear Fuzzy read the message or did you not? Because like, I think it's, I think the TTS is acting up. All right, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna read that one myself because I didn't hear Fuzzy read it. Uh, let me scroll down here. I died unexpectedly. Skip it about. <laughs> Extra says just now. Uh, it's still on screen. Nope, didn't hear. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, okay, Jazzy says refresh the bridge and restart Sammy, please. Okay, one second here. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I don't know why that didn't uh, that didn't work. Okay, refresh bridge. Let me close the panel. All right, it's through uh, through this. Da -da -da -da. Refresh. Where is that? Oh, it's this button way at the very bottom. Okay. You might see my my avatar flicker here. I'm pr I'm probably gonna turn into a question mark. Just just bear with me, chat. Okay, uh, I think, I think that's back. I just need to uh, reset my, my panel. Oops. Open this. Okay, I see Fuzzy's response for that tip. <laughs> DJ question mark? Oh no, is it happening again? <laughs> Uh, refresh bridge. Okay, uh, Jazzy, I did refresh uh, Sammy Bridge. Is there a way for me to like uh, have the um, tip message repeat? I don't believe you showed me how to do that, so I don't know if I can like log into Stream Elements and do that from there, or if I can do this right from um, from Sammy. Okay, good. All right. If, if I'm not showing up as a question mark, that means uh, Sammy panel properly refreshed. Just one, one moment, chat, while well, uh, Jazzy helps me troubleshoot this. I want to make sure tips get read out especially. That's that's really important. Um, I can always read it out myself if I can't get the tip to repeat itself. I'm just not sure how to do it. Like if it's through uh, stream elements or if it's like something I have to re-trigger in a Sammy panel button. Jazzy, you said to restart Sammy. I just refreshed it. Is that good enough? Or should I just completely, like, um, like, completely restart Sammy Core? Just te technical difficulties, peeps. Please stand by. I don't know why that didn't read. Normally it does. I hear, um... I hear Fuzzy's reply is ready, at least for the tip, but not the tip itself. Oh, hang on. Uh, Jazzy says to completely restart Sammy. Just a moment. Let me like close. All right, this might cause my my avatar to glitch up. Uh, just a moment here. Let me like completely restart Sammy because he told me to refresh the bridge and then restart Sammy Core. 
Okay. Yeah, what once again, just just bear with us folks. Uh, normally these kind of things don't happen, but sometimes they do. Ooh. Okay. It looks like it looks like Sammy has completely restarted, and I think it's okay now. All right. The the only problem is now I don't have uh, Fuzzy's reply for the tip, so uh, a talking question mark. Oh, did it happen? Did it happen again? Yeah, it's because I had to restart uh, the program that controls the uh, the PNG tuber. All right, Miss Mr. Producer, I restarted Sammy and I refreshed Sammy Bridge. Is there any way for us to hear that tip message again? You know, hang on. There actually might be a log of this. Just a moment. I think there might be a tip message and a response in Fuzzy's log. Okay, I don't have I don't have like the uh, the tip message, but but I can at least see what F oh oh I want f I want to hear Fuzzy's reply to this. Oh wait, I know how, I know how I could recreate the um. I know how I can recreate the uh, the the chat response. I could just feed this directly into Fuzzy, and just have her uh, reply to it. All right, hang on. We we can at least get half of the uh, half of the fun now. Here. Here we can at least get this part. <laughs> A big shout out to Elseworlds Fuzzy for the generous tip of $2.33. Thank you so much for your support and for the spicy message you attached. <laughs> it seems like you had quite the saucy adventure with Chef Boyardee and his Alfredo spaghetti. <laughs> I hope Jazzy had a delicious meal filled with skeebie dee bop doo dop goodness and not a salty plate of slop spaghetti. Oh, oh no, <laughs> Jazzy, let's hope for the best. Keep embracing the chaos, Elseworlds Fuzzy, and thank you again for your awesome support. <laughs> You rock. Sparkles. Sparkles. <laughs> okay, I do know how I can at least see the message. J just a second. I can I can always just check it in stream elements, so I'll just read the tip aloud uh, while we wait for uh, for Jazzy. All right. Um. So the tip was from Elseworlds Fuzzy. And at, here, I'll just do my best. <laughs> I'll just do my best fuzzy impression, okay? <laughs> All right. So Elseworlds Fuzzy says, "My oh my! I recently, I recently farted Chef Boyardee proudly complete, proudly proclaim. Hang on. You know what? I can actually do an Italian voice for this because it's like." It's because it's Chef Boyardee. Oh my, oh my, I recently farted. And Chef, and Chef Boyardee proudly pr proclaimed, Alfredo Spaghetti, she's the nun. And what was, and what a saucy plate that was. I hope Jazzy had a hearty meal of a little skibbity bop do bop goodness. Not, and not a saucy plate of slop spaghetti. Oh no, Jazzy. <laughs> I know, I know Fuzzy is better at reading these kinds of things. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elseworlds Fuzzy, for that tip, though. Uh, and, and let's all hope Jazzy did not get a, a, a sloppy plate of salty spaghetti and he had something delicious for dinner instead. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that's the only uh, weird fuzzy mishap we get. Let's let's get back into the game, shall we? All right. So again, I always try to do these levels in order. Uh, so let's go to Mexico. Sadly, I think this is the only uh, level in South America, or actually, this is technically Central America. You go to. I was hoping. 
Oh, excuse me. I hope I was hoping there'd be one in like South America, so like we can get some uh, we can get some some jazzy love or fallen angel love in the chat or in the the game. This this music gives me like Sega Genesis vibes, by the way. We got any Sega Genesis fanboys in chat? Uh, what's this officer sword do? Let's let's keep using this. All right. Uh. Oh. I kind of want this. Alright, I'm pretty sure touching these is a bad idea. Oh, they just blow up. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. Oh, and now I have to touch them. It's like spaghetti. Sometimes you have to touch your spaghetti. Sometimes you have to touch your friend's spaghetti. Ooh, baby. Um, okay, just looking out for secrets because... There is a... I think there's like a hidden one up in every level, too. Oh. It's trying to back me into that enemy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I see those spaghetti getting touched emotes in chat. <laughs> chat, what'd you think of me reading that tip? Did I do okay? I, I know Fuzzy does it better. But, you know, I, I have to try my best sometimes, too. Okay. Sometimes my gaming skills aren't up to par. I know! Shocking. So I try to, like, make up for it in other ways. Oh, let's not fall in the water. That's, that's bad. Why was that thing, like, invulnerable from, from beneath? That's weird. Damn burbs. Well, let's use the Bowie knife. Mm -hmm. Let's use this spear. Oh, they're... Oh, okay. You can hit them from the side. You just can't hit them from underneath. Another, it's another pilot only section. Oh, and of course, your pilot can't grab the, uh, the weapons grip can hold because they're obviously way too big. All right, um, I'm not quite as confident in my abilities to play this game as I used to be, so we're just gonna. We're just going to use the statue. Alright, come here, you. Oh, it's because he takes two hits. I was... For some reason, I was thinking that noise that he made was like him being immune to damage, but it was just him taking damage. You should always, always look around. These, if it looks like there's a secret there, chances are there's probably a secret there. Yeah, here's, here's one of those uh, hidden items that gives you a 1-up.
Okay, for that I need... There we go. Pretty easy. Um, hang on, let me see what the top road leads to. Oh, that's, that's a little bit of health. I could kind of use that. Yeah, these things take one hit even from the pilot, so... There we go. Alright, I thought there'd be, like, something... Ow! I thought there'd be something else hidden up there. There was not. Dogs. Okay, we're already at the boss. Let me uh, give up another weapon here, just in case. All right, deflect, medium heal. Eh, do I have an attack up? Oh, I do. Yeah, we're gonna use that. And, you know, let's use Lilith's weapon on this guy. I remember this boss, um, if you, if you know how to hit him, you can destroy this boss really fast. And he's dead already. I see Fiera getting ready to head out. Hang on one second here. Once I get back to the uh, the main menu here. Okay, here we go. Let me have a. Let me come back and give chat a checky. Uh, let's see. Dirk says feed it, feed it in, feed in some furry stuff, and Meridia says me. Uh, Meridia says the music in this game is nice. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's really good. Uh, Fiera says the Genesis was the first console I bought and owned, actually. Uh, also had quite a collection of games for it when I was uh, for it too then. Nice, nice. Yeah, I started out with... Um, I started out well before the Nintendo and the Genesis... Or the uh, Nintendo and Sega were a thing, at least in the US, but... I did eventually get a Sega Genesis. Uh, I see Spaghetti being touched in chat, and then Fiera says... Uh, time for me to get ready to head off once again. Have a good night, DJ, Jazzy, and everyone. Till next time. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot, Fiera, uh, for coming in and checking out these indie games. I'm probably going to try to get to all four games tonight, but if I don't, I mean, we'll definitely have enough to do a part two of this and maybe even more. And DJ Mike Fury says, uh, DJ Axis, do you have an extended version of your songs? I was thinking of doing a DJ mix of your tracks. Um... Possibly. It depends on which songs you want extended versions of. Uh, let me know on Discord which songs, and I'll see if I do. I may not, though. Like, I can tell you right now, for, like, some of the original stuff, I don't have extended versions of anymore. And what's worse, I don't really have a means of making an extension, extended version. But some of them I may. Uh, sadly, I lost some of, like, my older um, masters in previous hard drive crashes, not just the newest one. Uh, Shadow says, Atari 2600 and C64 are the best starter consoles. Impeccable, impeccable choices there, Shadow. I would agree. And Genesis is great, too, though. Uh, yeah, my, DJ Mike Fury uh, looking a bit sad about that. Trust me, I am, too. I lost so much over the years of things that just either weren't backed up or, you know, I'd have like a, a computer failure at the wrong time. I was I was always trying to be really careful about backing things up too, like archiving my music and art, but just sometimes it just didn't happen. Um, I mean, maybe what I might do is uh, do sort of like modern versions 
of like all of my original works and then just keep the masters for those you know sort of do like a, a 2024 version you know of like original music and that way then i can keep the master for it maybe put it up on cloud storage so i'll never lose it just an idea uh mike fury says that would be awesome yeah i'll, I'll see what i can do like it, it would take some doing to recreate those tracks and they wouldn't sound one for one um, partly because I don't have the same VSTs as I used to, but I mean, I could, I could still try to bring them back as best I could. Uh, Fiera says, I was playing video games as far back as the late 70s. Damn, that, I wasn't even born till 79, so... Uh, I started out with the Commodore 64, Atari consoles, ColecoVision, and third-party developed version of Pong and the like. Uh, so very well before the NES and the Genesis. Yeah. Uh, you're in good company there, Fiera, by the way. Uh, also, Fiera says, and with that said, have a good night, everyone, and a great weekend. Until next time. You too, Fiera. I hope you have a great weekend as well. Uh, Shadow says, uh, hard drive crashes. Been through too many of those. Had my uh, had had my backups of backups all the way down. Uh, hard drive noises make me jump. Yeah, same. In fact, I'm like, I'm constantly like looking down at my computer, like in the uh, shelf on the on the underside of my desk just you know listening for every sort of like weird noise or like stray sound in the hopes that nothing else breaks uh fiera says 73 is my birth year i'm six years younger than you fiera i i, I always make the joke that disco died so that i could live <laughs> uh and mike fury says ColecoVision was great uh favorite game was frenzy on that system you know i never had a ColecoVision. i had friends that had colecos I, my first consoles were the Commodore VIC-20, uh, the Intellivision 2, and the Atari 2600. That that tells you the generation I grew up in. Um, my parents, I think, had a pong, had like you know a couple of those like home Pong consoles as well, and they may have had some other systems too. I don't remember. I know my my parents were like like addicted to arcade games back in like the late 70s and the early 1980s. So like they were they were gamers themselves, but then they kind of, you know, their boomer nature shone through and then they like shunned video games. Like when I wanted to get into them, they were just like, no, you don't want to play video games. That's going to wreck your brain. And it's like, but you liked you liked Crystal Castles and Stampede Dad. Jeez, let me have my fun, too. This is where this is where all my aggression comes from. OK, <laughs> it was a hard life. <laughs> Uh, Shadow says, I often listen carefully to my SSDs expecting a screech noise. Thankfully, that won't happen, uh, but it's instinct. Now, you know what, though, Shadow? The, the hard drive that died on me was an SSD. So the worst part about those, when they die, there's no warning. It just dies. There's no warning sounds. There's no sudden thing. It's just, it's just, it's gone. That's it. And the worst part is when an SSD dies, there's no salvaging it. If a platter hard drive dies, you can at least maybe send it to a lab, a lab and like maybe get some of your data back. There, there's a chance that you could salvage some data, but with an SSD, it's gone forever. It's just fucking gone. Dirk says, I was born in 1970. You old fogey. Wow, I didn't know that. Man. Uh, Rapid says, breaking news parents. <laughs> breaking news parents yell at them video games. Old man yells at cloud, <laughs> and in this case, the cloud's video games. <laughs> All right, um, let's let's get back into Panzer Paladin if you guys are enjoying this. But you know, I just want to thank everybody for coming by and you know enjoying this indie games like little mini marathon I have going on here. Uh, I'm st I'm still doing good. I started late, so like I could still play for a while longer. I might do like one or two more stages and then switch games because I'm hoping to you know get a little bit from each game and give everybody a taste at least before everybody gets too tired. Uh, Dirk says 84. Okay, I'm not that old. Oh, all right, all right. And DJ Mike Fury says, do you remember in in Intellivoice on Intellivision bomb 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 squad? Oh yeah, in fact we had that. Uh, we had the Intellivision Model Two, you know, like the one that was the like white plastic with like the black buttons and we had the uh, Intellivoice and also I'm really mad at my dad for selling this in a yard sale but we had that really really rare Intellivision system changer that allowed you to play 2600 game cartridges on it 
And of course, you know, my dad being a boomer sells it, not realizing that the thing is incredibly valuable and rare. But yeah, I do remember Bomb Squad. Uh, there was B-17 Bomber and uh, what was the other? There was three Intellivoice games and I... Oh, Space Spartans. Yeah, we had all three of those. I think there might have even been a fourth Intellivoice game, but I know we had those three ones for sure. Oh, there was a Tron game. Yeah. I think that was the one we were missing. Uh, Shadow says, by folks let me grow up on Doom, I turned out... <laughs> yeah. You know what, though? It was weird. My dad was, like, so anti-video game for the longest time until we got, like, a PC. Like, and then he was fine with it because then he realized we could, like, get pirated games and then he was all fine with it. It's like, oh, sure. Once you realize you can get free video games out of your kids, now you don't... Suddenly you don't mind uh, video games anymore. Mm. Uh, it's Eddie's Bliss says, and don't forget to plug our cozy company stream tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Same crew, different company. All oh, right. We're working for a different company altogether. Yeah. So tomorrow afternoon, um, Insidious Bliss, Paul Hadouken, and myself will be playing a demo of a game called uh, Abiotic Factor. Abiotic Factor, I think it is. It's a survival crafting kind of thing and you can you can tell it draws a lot of inspiration from stuff like half-life because like your character is like a scientist and he's he's very dweeby so that should be interesting normally those kind of games aren't my thing but i don't know maybe this one might be uh dirk says when um i think it'll be i think paul said it's gonna be uh 3 or 4 p.m eastern time so it, it'll be like, we'll be doing that until about dinner time, and I think we're going to stream for about three hours or so. So that will be tomorrow afternoon. Um, tomorrow, uh, earlier in the day, I'll be on uh, Goes Nowhere Does Nothing's chat. And I can't remember the other guest he has on, but I will be on, um, I think it's, oh, what's their thing? I think it's Gamers Got a Game? I think that's their podcast name. I'm so bad with names. I'm sorry, but I'm going to be on uh, Gono Dono's channel tomorrow as well. So that's why I decided to stream tonight or rather Mrs. Cheesebridge convinced me to stream tonight because like if I'm going to be on two shows tomorrow, I know I would have been just just beat by the time uh, tomorrow evening rolled around. Uh, Shadow says, oh, it was a safety issue. Uh, it was. It, oh, it was. It was. It wasn't a safety issue, it was a money issue. That's understandable. Uh, that stuff was expensive. Uh, yay shareware, though. Uh, Jazz Jackrabbit for days. Yeah. Oh, man. I remember the shareware version of Jazz Jackrabbit. Uh, and then the Christmas levels and the expansions. Uh, back when games actually had, like, proper expansion packs. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says, My dad was the one who played in television in Coleco. Uh, I got more into it when he bought the NES during the test market period in New York, uh, and when Nintendo wasn't sure the console would succeed. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was because it was the um, the year before was um, uh, what was it? Uh, eighty five was Teddy Ruxpin, and then eighty six was Laser Tag was the hot toy of the year, and um, then the year after. I'm sorry, it was eighty four was Teddy Ruxpin, and then eighty five was laser tag and then 1986 was the nes i think that's the right years if not it's like one year ahead for everything but i do remember they had that test period in the 1980s where nintendo was really not sure if it was going to work out because at that point you know a lot of people nowadays weren't really alive for this but video games weren't really in fashion anymore after the video game crash of 82 and 83 especially in north america like there was a lot of people who just didn't want to deal with video games ever again like they they didn't like them they didn't trust them uh atari had like so many garbage games on their console and there was like, no quality control so nintendo finally stepped in and changed the market but there was still a lot of worries that it was even going to work at all uh Mike Fury says it came with Rob the Robot as well. Nice. And a bunch of black box games. Oh, nice. Uh, Shadow says, oh, expansion packs were so fun. A uh, full game campaign for half the price on its own box. Good stuff. Yeah, I remember I remember buying so many of those expansion packs. Like, I still remember the day uh, walking to Best Buy and picking up um, 
Diablo 2's uh, expansion, uh, Lord of Destruction, uh, new in box. Mm, good times, good times. Uh, and then he says, NES was made like a VCR, and that was the reason to not look like a game console. Yeah, and that's why they called it uh, the Nintendo Entertainment System, because they wanted to avoid any, like, indication that it was like a video game console. You know, like, it did play video game cartridges, but they wanted to not have that as part of the branding. But I didn't know that it was, like, meant to resemble, like, a VCR. That's actually pretty clever. <laughs> All right, let, let me get back into the game now that we've caught up with chat, and we'll do this. Uh, we'll this we'll do this level with a, uh, with, a with a dragon boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I have a lot of spirit points. All right, let's let's get another health upgrade. Uh, parrot mace, machete, club. There we go. Ten ninety five. All right. Um. All right. How much will I have to give up to get this? Eh. Yeah, that's a little bit too much. I'll keep what I got. All right. Uh, let's do this level, and then I'll see how I'm feeling, and then we might, um, and then we might swap. Uh, by the way, this is one of the levels... So there's a couple of, of levels in this game that I just absolutely love the music to. The one for Scotland is one of my favorites. I almost want to turn the music up just for this level. Alright, so... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to not talk too much over the music for this level because I absolutely love it. So just, you know, I, I wish I could make my uh, my avatar like head bob to the music. Trying to keep an eye out for secrets. Oh, hang on. I can make that jump. You just have to do your like back turn, you know, like your your back dash in the middle of the air, and you can do it. Uh, trying to keep trying to keep my good weapons for boss fights because they they do have slightly better stats than the regular stuff. abandoned grit here. There we go. So, I don't know why some of the reviews for this game complain about the controls, and they they were, like, whinging about how, um, how the, the mech handles all slowly. Honestly, this feels fine to me. I don't know. So some people with like retro games or like retro styled games just I think they go into it expecting something different. Or maybe they're just pussies, you know. Who knows? 
DJ Mike Curry says now it's like Blaster Master. Yeah, exactly. This game kind of wears its inspirations on its sleeve. So there's like a little bit of, uh, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like little inspirations taken from just various NES games. And that's why I like it so much. So like the combat here is kind of like Zelda 2 where you can like block high or low. Uh, there's, you know, it's got the Mega Man thing of, um, of being able to select different bosses. Just, just scrounging for secrets, don't mind me. Oh, hey, speaking of a secret. Oh. There we go. And there's our there's our secret item for this level. It's not a super hard game, but when you get into the like end game, some of the bosses can be kind of tricky. And yes, of course, because this is like a uh, a Mega Man game, there's there's of course like its own version of the Wily levels. Thankfully, there's no, like, uh, boss gauntlet. At least I don't remember there being one. There we go. We're just gonna throw a weapon at him. Um, let's save that large heal. I don't want to waste that. Oops. Well, that was a whiff. <laughs> Whoops, indeed. <gasps> it's Jazzy again! Hello, how are you? Uh, I'm back, I'm good. How are you? You having fun? I am. I, I love this game, by the way. Looks so good. Uh, looks so good, too. Yeah! 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 <laughs> So I'm still not uh, sure what happened with Fuzzy. Do you know? Yeah, I I, I, I left you a chat message because I wasn't listening, but I saw it like stuck. Oh, okay. Uh, the tip message. Oh, okay. So did you read me or? Oh, hang on. I read I read the first one about you telling me to restart. Um... Yeah, that that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did I that. Just, I yeah, just I did. missed if you if you restarted everything. Uh, I, I just missed it. Yeah, I, what I did was I refreshed um, Sammy uh, Bridge in OBS, and I completely closed Sammy uh, Core and restarted it. Okay. So I th I think that's what you wanted me to do, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, Fuzzy didn't. Uh, just just fu get to some checkpoint or something, and we can we can test. Uh, oh yeah. We can test the thing. That's a big boy. By the way, the music in this game is so. You know, <laughs> Konami like on 8 bit. Yeah. And and this is the like the original soundtrack. There's also one that's like purely like NES sounding. I actually don't think it sounds as good. Like, I actually like this one where it's sort of like the hybrid with, like, the electric guitar. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need a piercing weapon to get through this one. There we go. Yeah, this game... That's Zach over at Twitch uh, saying, Ew, 6.15 a.m. I can't believe I grossly overslept for DJ stream. Oh, anyway, hey. bonk journal, fellas. <laughs> How's it going, Zach? Always, always good to see you, like... You know, eager to watch more chaos unfold. It was, it was crazy earlier tonight. By the way, <laughs> chat chat was, of course, being their usual sussy, edgy selves. But that's that's just what chat do. It's okay. what chat. Do. Oh. Hey, oh, that's. Saying, I'm back. I was on the melee town town square. Oh look, I. I missed that one. Oh, are they still going, or did they finish already? I don't know. Okay, wait, who was, who was there? Was it Zach? That's Imp. Oh, Imp was there. Oh, welcome back, Imp. Uh, how'd the town square go? Also, Leor asking, what game is this? This is, uh... Oh, this is, uh, Panzer Paladin. Panzer Paladin, yeah. Yeah. Okay, fighting one of these guys with uh, flame is not a good idea. That's the uh, pilot's name. 
Oh, I don't want to take damage as flame. That's bad. Okay, there we go. Um, hang on, I want to backtrack a bit because there might be a hidden thing up here. A hidden thing? Yeah, there's a lot of secrets and there, there actually was one there. So, that was worth getting. Okay, uh, checkpoint before the boss. Um, hang on, I want to use this to get the durability. And I had a weapon that... Oh, I think I broke it. Hang on, I want the one that gives me attack up. Yeah, yeah! Give me that attack up. And waste one more for the checkpoint. And then we're gonna go uh, battle the dragon boss. Uh, we'll use the broad axe, here we go. Oh, here comes my boy. Here comes my boy! Oh. Feels bad, man. Oh, look at him. It's powerful! It's my boy. Oh! This kind of makes me think of Airman. Like how he like pushes you back. <laughs> Shadow says, "Is that you, Spyro?" <laughs> this this is this is like Spyro's one true Bara Daddy, okay? <laughs> oh no, we're not going down that route. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's your stream after all. But... Yeah. Yeah, but I, I think my attack up. Oh, right. Oh. Burn, baby, burn. Oof. Yeah, that beam attack he does will really mess you up. Uh, you have to be, like, right next to him to, uh... See, we pulled the sword out of him. He's fine. He's fine. He just went back to his home planet. Flame, I'm impressed. You fight like a soldier. Or a mole person. You're ready for an advanced sword technique. Attack at the precise moment that an enemy hits your shield and you'll parry for even or even disarm them. It'll even work on the globalists. <laughs> oh, that flash earlier, that's what that was. I forgot that was a thing. And yes, that boss is a snowman. Does anybody here remember Clay Fighters? This boss makes me think of bad Mr. Frosty. Okay, I have enough to afford an upgrade, so let's do that. Hockey stick, javelin, knife, uh, the Wallace sword. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hold on to that. Okay, so I just jumped into the call to um, say good night to everyone, and you know, just to leave some good um, some good vibes around oh. here. Oh, nice! That was so nice okay. of you, Jazzy. Yeah, just, just, just tell you, you know, you have fun. This is a nice game. Keep sharing, you know, what you know about music and pixel art and all those. Sure. In, in fact, I'm probably about to, like, swap games because this game has a, has a save system, too. So, like, we oh. can always... Yeah, so we can, like, come back to this game later, too. Yeah, I have told you, uh, I have told you this in private already, but I think your streams are very entertaining. Uh, oh, thank you. Thank chat you. may agree with me if they want. Go ahead and give DJ. I don't know. Do exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Yeah. <laughs> we, you know, we need to make that a thing <laughs> for Jazzy. We need the, we need a Robert Loja button. <laughs> just, just a command for Robert Loja. Yeah. <laughs> It'll just be called like Logia ah! or something. <laughs> Logia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, j just like Insidious did uh, over on YouTube. It could be various yeahs, yeah's too. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, just that on, on my end. Uh, have a good night, everyone, and keep enjoying DJ's stream. Yeah. And you keep having fun, okay? Oh, thank you so much, Jazzy, and thank you again for stopping in tonight. I, I always try to leave this open for you, you know, now that I can stream for myself, you know, 
you're, you're always welcome to come and go as you please. You know, just come in, do producery things, troll me, yes. make clips of my amazing gaming talent. <laughs> yes. You got Zach over on Twitch saying, Hope Rabbit, oh, Jazzy, you're always such a cheeky joker. Everyone knows it is I, Fuzzy Wuzzy, who makes this stream extra sparkly and fun. <laughs> Oh Sparkles. yeah, that that hop rabbit is a uh, better Twitch command. So if anyone has uh, better Twitch or Seven TV, I think it is, you'll see the animated fuzzy. Yeah, those are different services. Um, and they require you to like install a Chrome extension or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, everyone. Good night then. All right. Bye. Have a, have a good night, Jazzy. Take care. All right, chat, he's gone. We can go back to being naughty. <laughs> Not really, though. <laughs> Meridius saying, rabbit, sparkles. <laughs> and, oh, hey, we got someone else in chat. Uh, uh, Kivank Alp saying, bros streaming for three hours. Nah. <laughs> Actually, hang on. How long have I been streaming for? Uh, two hours, 48 minutes. Yeah. Not quite three hours yet, but we'll we'll get there. I still have two more games to show off, and we've only, um, you know, we, we still have so much more to go. Uh, uh what else? Uh, Lior says, I'd watch more of them if I had more time to invest in it. Yeah, I get you. And and you've got, you know, you got a kid to raise, so, you know, take care of what's important first, okay? But I, I appreciate you stopping in, Lior, and just, you know, saying hi to everybody. Uh, Meridia saying night to Jazzy. Shadow saying Clayfighter 63 and and one half. Uh, kind of needs a decompile project to revive it out of the sculptor's cut. Uh, that in the sculptor's cut. Yeah, I, I heard that one was like kind of... It was kind of not all there. That would be interesting to see Clayfighters come back. Because like, now that like fighting games are kind of a big deal, they could actually make Clayfighters like kind of viable. You know? That'd be interesting to see. <laughs> I like it. Oh, Insidious says here, Night Jazzy, the company will miss you tomorrow, but enjoy your time off. Uh, Meridius says he streams longer than that. Yeah, I think um, one of my very first streams, um, once I got internet of my own, was like eight hours. So, uh, DJ Mike Fury says, You have any targets for the next video game music to remix? Um. Let me think here. I'm kind of depressed because I actually had a couple of remixes that were in the works that are now kind of gone forever. So I'm going to have to restart those. Um, but I guess I can spoil what they are now that they're now that they're basically vaporware <laughs> or vaporwave, I guess it were. <laughs> so I was working on a Mega Man 3 Sparkman remix. I was working on a Final Fantasy 1 like mashup of the town theme and Matoya's cave. Um, I think there was like one or two more. I'm trying to remember them all here. Oh, what were they? I was working on a GoldenEye, like the pause menu music from GoldenEye. And I think there was like a fourth one. I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, there may have even been more after that. I just can't remember them all. And they're, yeah, they're, they're gone. I, I don't even know why I didn't back them up again i wasn't expecting my hard drive to die after six months i was super super depressed <laughs> zach says go to sleep you <laughs> poke battle yeah i know what that i know what that animation is it's getting bonked uh internet crusader says clay fighters would be amazing especially with modern technology yeah i agree you know it'd be really cool Internet Crusader is if they actually made the uh, new Clay Fighters look like it was animated with stop motion, that would be just that would be pure Kino, okay. Um, but yeah, getting back to your actual question, uh, Mike Fury, I didn't actually answer it. I'm not really sure what my next remix is going to be because like I am kind of back to square one as far as like having uh, like a project to work on. Oh, wait, hang on, you said something else here. Uh, what higher drive did you have so I know not to get it? Uh, well, it was part of the pre-built. Like, you probably remember this, but back in July, I was, like, uh, asking for help from the side-scrollers community and from the Legion of Memers and from a few other places to raise funds to replace my PC. It was a pre-built machine, and it came with this, like, 
like completely no name brand hard drive i think it was called like king fast or something like that but it wasn't like it was definitely not a reputable brand hard drive and i think um so extra zero was helping me like pick out a machine and if i remember correctly he even warned like that he was like i'm not sure what brand hard drive this comes with but you may want to like inspect it to make sure it's like you know at least something that's like trustworthy uh yeah shadow's like oh no oh no 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 yeah yeah so like thankfully jazzy has already helped me pick out some replacements i've already purchased them and i'll i'll put the uh pictures up on coffee because i always try i always want to like have like proof of what i bought and what i'm spending your money on um but if you want to know it's i think it's the ssd jazzy had me buy is a sandisk and the uh platter hard drive for like all the data and stuff is a western digital black label uh oh oh no hey the tip's working again <laughs> oh, no. DJ's oh no it's back one dollar bosh's hard drive just showed up <laughs> and let me tell you he's seen some real shit oh he i bet be worse off than hillary clinton's network drive oh no <laughs> he's gonna need a lot of bleach bit then <laughs> Oh, Vosh's hard drive. <laughs> Something tells me we might have an extra zero lurking in chat. <laughs> Alright, Fuzzy, what you gotta say about this? <laughs> oh, ghost of DJ's hard drive. Thank you for the tip, darling. Vosh's hard drive sounds like it's been through quite the adventure, like a wild roller coaster ride. But hey, let's hope it's not as scandalous as Hillary Clinton's network drive. <gasps> Fuzzy because that's knows. a whole different kind of drama. Fuzzy Keep knows. The party going. Party oh, popper. Shit. Headphone. Sparkles. Hey, you know what? Fuzzy can say stuff like that because you know what's what's Hillary gonna do to Fuzzy? <laughs> it's not like she's gonna like you know. Uh, it's not like she's gonna unalive herself. <laughs> Damn, even Fuzzy knows. Even Fuzzy knows politics. That's kind of scary. <laughs> Internet Crusader saying, I had tons of fun. Uh, yeah, they disappear. <laughs> Internet Crusader said, I had tons of fun with Clay Fighters. I did too. I actually really like that. Uh, Internet Crusader says, that's terrifying. Yeah, I know. The, the fact that uh, a chat protocol even knows about these kind of things is kind of scary. <laughs> uh, Shadow says... Clay fighters, clay fighters that look like clay. Heck, you could program in battle damage with pieces of uh, pieces cut out with uh, with HTE models uh, or with the models. Uh, clay fighters definitely would look great today. Yeah, they could do like uh, kind of like battle damage. That would be great. And maybe like when your health runs out, you basically like crumble or something like that. Maybe that's like a clayality. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, Zach says, did you hear Matoya's relic music from Final Fantasy XIV? It sounds like a mashup between the OG theme and uh, Gruntilda's Lair. I have not. You might have to send that to me in DMs. So yeah, um, getting back to my, my uh, pre-built. If you, if you get one, for, like if you get a computer like that for yourself and there's like a dubious looking part of any kind, just replace that shit. But as I was saying, like, I'm pretty sure Extra was warning me because he was like, you may want to just inspect the hard drive, especially, and the um, the power supply and make sure, like, every part in there is, like, a reputable brand. Uh, but he was saying, like, the, the most important thing is the, the GeForce card in there is actually a good card. You know, like, it's actually a name brand card. Uh, the RAM looks good, and even, like, the motherboard and CPU are at least, like, proper brands. It's just, I don't know why they stuck some weirdo hard drive in there, but yeah uh shadow says that's uh western digital is good stuff uh take a look at black blaze's hard drive reports uh western digital drives last the longest uh under their heavy use uh wd stuff knocks it out of the park with hdds yeah exactly um and in fact um in my previous computer i had a western digital red label i think it was slow, and I think that's the point of the red label. They're like for uh, long-term storage. But man, that thing was a beast. It was an absolute unit. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says uh, it was a clone of Killer Instinct, basically. Yeah, it really was. 
I, I, if they like made a, a uh, Clay Fighters that kind of simulated like Killer Instinct 2013, I would I would actually play that. By the way, KI 2013, one of my favorite fighters. I might have to play that on stream at some point. Maybe we could even play that with like people in the chat or something, or like do like a um, like an uh, a fighting game like multiplayer kind of thing with with chat members at some point. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be against that. I know there might be some people in the community that are like hella good at fighting games, so I might be biting off more than I can chew. But it would be kind of fun, you know, like playing games like that with y'all. Uh, Internet Crusader says I can't stick around too long. DJ, uh, what game is next? Um, I want to I want to like make things pretty varied. So like I'll save Shovel Knight for last since that's the one everybody you know everybody knows what Shovel Knight is like. Um, instead, I'm going to play uh, Fight and Rage, which is a beat 'em up game. And it's a really good beat 'em up game too. In fact, before Final Fight LNS Ultimate, I would say Fight and Rage is probably like my third favorite fighting game, right behind Shredder's Revenge. It's it's that good. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says I'm a huge fighting game fan, my dude. You know what's up. Uh, Shadow says Seagates though never again. Yeah, I've had bad experiences with Seagates just dying on me suddenly too. Uh, in fact, I think I've had Seagate platter drives die on me. Um, Internet Crusader? Oh, yeah, you want to know what... Oh, and I wanted to know if you're playing Infernax. No, I'm not. I don't have Infernax, but I want to play that. I, I definitely want to play that at some point. Um, I do want to do more of these uh, once I get through the the first four games. And, like, even though I'm, I'm not finishing all four of these in one session, um, if we... We can always go back to these same four uh, indie games, or we can, like, pick different ones. I'm kind of down for whatever, you know, like, as long as people are enjoying the games that I'm playing, or if there's something you want to see me play, let me know. We can work something out. Uh, Internet Crusader says, I'm fucking terrible at fighting games, but I love them anyway. I'm kind of like that, too, actually. I, I always thought I wasn't half bad, and then I started playing people, like, who actually know their shit, and I'm like, oh, I kind of suck. <laughs> But I have a huge appreciation for fighting games, so, like, all of the the balance that goes into them, you know, like, properly balancing characters, just all the lore, the stories behind the characters, and the, like, just the whole development behind them, like, how much work goes into a fighting game is kind of, it's kind of amazing. Uh, Mike Fury says, DJ Axis, let's play Fightcade sometime. You know, I would not be opposed to that. We can even play some, like... Uh, old school fighting games, you know, like Third Strike or like Street Fighter Alpha 2 or Alpha 3 or something like that. MK2 was my jam back in the day. Oh, man. I, I would definitely be for that. Maybe we can like come up with some sort of community event where we can play together on like Fightcade or something like that. I, I would definitely be down for that. Even if I got my ass kicked, it would be fun. Uh, Internet Crusader says, I'd love to play some good fighting games with friends, but I would get my ass beat. You know, that's kind of part of the fun, though. Like... I, I, I wouldn't go into it go, going all sweaty. If somebody here is, like, really good at a fighter, you know, whatever. Like, I, I, I wouldn't mind, like, like getting bodied on stream. It's fine. Uh, and then Internet Crusader says, wait, is Infernax online co-op? I don't know if it is or not. Uh, shared split-screen co-op. Oh, for reals? Uh, and Mike Fury says, yes, MK2 and UM UMK Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 are my faves. I played a lot of MK2, which is why it's like my jam back in the day. I didn't get the chance to play Ultimate 3. I know how good it is, though. I know there's people who swear by Ultimate 3 as like the best Mortal Kombat, or at least the best classic, just because of all the stuff they added from just regular MK3. Uh, Mike Fury says, I was ranked number one for a short time on Xbox Live and UMK3 back in the day. Okay, I have a feeling if I played that against you, like, you're going to completely destroy me. Because <laughs> I've seen, like, what high-level UMK3 play looks like. Uh, some characters have, like, infinites for days. Uh, Internet Crusader says, I could get down with Street Fighter Third Strike, but it's so fucking complex and I have no idea how to play. Yeah, the thing is, though, like, you don't have to play these at a high level. And honestly, Third Strike is still fun, even if, you, if, even if you're not a parry god. Uh, what the fuck is a red parry? Um... I think red parry is where you do a parry out of block or something like that. So you have to be holding block first and then you uh, tap forward to parry. It's it's really hard to do and it's very like... There's actually some like uh, combo tech that re revolves around red parry, but it's very situational. 
Um, and I hear the uh, the timing window for pair, for Red Perry, I think, is like uh, two frames. It's one or two frames, because I know the normal uh, parry timing in Third Strike, I think, is like eight frames. It's actually pretty generous, but getting a Red Perry is like incredibly hard. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says, I played Stuttering Craig. Uh, uh, I'll have to send you the video. It's pretty funny, his, his reaction. Oh, God, what did you do to that man? <laughs> and Internet Crusader says, I... I, yeah, I know the timing is absolutely insane. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Uh, the mechanics are so fucking obscenely technical and crazy. This is kind of like why uh, Third Strike, when it came out, no one fucking cared about it. Partly because the roster is like so weird, but also the uh, system mechanics. Like, remember this this came out at a time when the internet was still like a new thing, and there was a lot of people who just weren't online in like the late '90s. So like, there wasn't a lot of shared tech about these kind of games just yet it wasn't until like um really evo moment 37 that um caused third strike to have that resurgence in the 2000s like but up until that point no one really gave two shits about the game and now like third strike is celebrated as like a uh, fgc staple and kind of rightfully so i'm not the biggest third strike fan but i can definitely acknowledge like how tight the system mechanics are and like i've seen what high level third strike play looks like it's awe-inspiring um internet crusader says it took some guy in japan showing uh showing shit like frame buffering and red parries and shit that ignited the player base yeah at evo moment 37 was insane yeah there's some there's some insane third strike players especially in japan in fact i never want to fuck with like japanese uh, street fighter players they're on another level absolutely another level like even hell even even nowadays with street fighter 6 the uh one i know there's like a top player in japan that was like playing modern control chun li i think his name is hitani i might be wrong i'm pretty sure it was hitani and that dude was like crazy with modern characters like he was beating pros with like modern chun li it was crazy shadow says uh street fighter 3 was left alone in the corner in the arcades because it was uh, but it was fun when I found it. Yeah, I heard that too. I never saw uh, any Street Fighter 3 machine in the arcade when I was younger. It was mainly Street Fighter 2 or some edition of Street Fighter 2. So I can't even like speak to what it was like to play in the arcade, but I'll take your word on it that it was... I mean, I've played it in Fightcade. I've actually played Third Strike, so I know how good it is. I've just never played it like on an actual arcade cab myself. Mike Fury says, I didn't pick up Street Fighter 6... Uh, first time I, the first time I never picked up a Street Fighter. Wow, I didn't like how it played from a fighting mechanic aspect. However, Tekken Seven and now Eight are probably the best fighting games. I've heard Tekken Eight is like killing it. I've never been a big like three D fighter fan, but I don't know. I might be willing to give Tekken Eight a try. It looks it looks so dope. It really really does. Uh, Internet Crusader says uh, Smash is my jam. That's the fighting game I'm remotely good at. Uh, and I just love them. Uh, they're fast-paced and flashy, true tests of skill, which is which I obviously lack. You know, some people in the fighting game community still like don't give Smash its props, and they say it's it's a party game or something. I would say it's it's earned its place as a uh, as a legit fighting game, especially after like um, obviously melee has been a staple in the community for well, you could say decades now. Uh, but I, I think the professional scene, even for Melee, didn't start out right away. I, th I don't think it started until like the late 2000s or maybe even the 20 teens. But it's 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 like, you know, it, sh it should be respected. Like it actually brought a lot of uh, new faces into the FGC that otherwise wouldn't be there. So like, you know, yeah, it's a it's a platform fighter, but I mean, it's still a fighting game. It still has tech. It still has uh, combos. You know, it has all of the things that make a fighting game what it is. So why not? Just call it a fighting game. Um, Mike Fury says, Street Fighter 3 came out around the Alpha series. Yeah, that's true. They were developed at the same time. Uh, Street Fighter 3 was just too ahead of its time. And people... Um, that people... Sh uh, sh that, pfft, sorry, it was too ahead of its time that people shed from it until later on, uh, me included. Uh, and then Internet Crusader said, Maximilian Dude has stated that he thinks Smash is more complex than most Street Fighters. Uh... That there's more to consider, more mechanics, and more to take into account. I don't know if I would agree with Max on that, but I mean, he's he knows more about fighting games than I do, so maybe I should shut my mouth. Um, 
knockback, distance, height, aerials, a bunch of other things. Yeah, that's true. You have to take um, a lot of like aerials. You have to take your like air direction and um, oh, what is that called? Oh, what is that called? There's like a uh, like your direction control in Smash. You have to take all of that into consideration. So, yeah, I can, I can see a case being made for it being more complex. Uh, and then Internet Crusader says it's just a different subgenre of fighting games, platform fighters. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think, as I said, I think Smash, um, and then every kind of Smash like you know, like Rivals of Aether and uh, Brawlhalla have kind of like earned their place, you know, at the fighting game table. Some people still don't agree with that. Nah, I, I think they've earned it. Uh, direct DI, that's it. Directional influence. I was trying to think of the term. Thank you. Thank you, Internet Crusader. Uh, there's also attack decay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I know hitboxes play a real big role in Smash too. You like how you have like delay hit delayed hitboxes. And then there's like uh, sweet spots and sour spots for attacks. It's just so much to keep track of. All right, chat. Um, let me be right back, and then we will. Uh, we're kind of at the halftime show. We've done two games already, or at least we've we've sampled two games. I'm going to be right back. I just need to hit the washroom and get a drink. But then after that, we will play some fight and rage. So I'll try to I'll try to be quick. Okay. I'll try to not take off or try to not take too long. Uh, Internet Crusader says he's heading off though. You have a good night. You have a good night too, Internet Crusader. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the uh, indie games that we're doing tonight. Uh, we're definitely going to do this again. So, you know, take care. Uh, as for everybody else, I will be right back. Okay, don't go anywhere.
All right, everybody, I'm back. Let's get the main scene back on. Uh, hopefully, we still got some peeps in chat. Sorry to keep you waiting, but let me just make sure I didn't miss anything else in chat, and then we'll just get the next game fired up. What do you say? Uh, what do we got? There's also attack decay. Uh, Internet Crusader says Marth has entered the chat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know about Marth and his throw range. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says Alpha was more fast pace, which had more appeal. And when the Street Fighter versus Capcom versus or yeah, Street Fighter versus Capcom and or Street Fighter versus and Capcom versus came out, it was over. Yeah, the versus series really just buried any hopes that uh, Street Fighter Three had until the FGC, you know, like picked it up years and years later. Uh, Zach over on uh, Twitch says uh jo jones and uh hop rabbi uh oh oh wait oh because you're doing like two different uh twitch emojis <laughs> fuzzy and alex and alex jones yeah <laughs> dirk saying mugu i'm getting balked and insidious going <laughs> hey now is, is, is michael jackson okay that's ignorant stop it <laughs> oh man Okay. <laughs> they can see it on screen. Oh, does it actually, like, show up properly? Hang on. Oh, yeah. That's right. They show up because I have, um... Because I have Better Twitch installed for myself, too. The globalist fuzzy. You gotta stop a globalist from taking over the DJ stream, okay? You're turning the fuzzies gay. <laughs> Alright, let's get the next game loaded up. Um... So I, I like all of these games. I will say, though, I will say, um, Shovel Knight is the one I actually like the least. I don't, I don't dislike it, but, um, but, um, I think Shovel Knight is a little bit overrated. It's, it's good. It's, it's a good game, but I don't think it was like, like, you know, OMG, the best 2D platformer ever, like some people were claiming it to be. It's it's a good game, okay? It's a good Mega Man style game. But there there are honestly there are better platformers out there that got less recognition when Shovel Knight was getting heaped or praise heaped on it. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says, "What about Bloodstained? I know you're a Castlevania. Oh, you know I should have played. I should have added that instead of Shovel Knight. I should have added um, the." Uh, Pixel Bloodstained games. By the way, I love those. I have uh, Curse of the Moon, or what is it? Circle of the Moon? Hey, hang on. Hang on. I have three of them, okay? I have Ritual of the Night. I always forget what the um, the pixely one's called. Uh, Curse of the Moon. Yeah, I have Curse of the Moon 1 and 2. I should have added those to the... Um, excuse me. I should have added those to the, the Pixel game choices tonight. I didn't even think of that. I think it's a great series. It's so awesome. There's three. Yeah, I have all three of them. Um, those those are really good. Also, um, even though everybody shits on Inti Creates for Mighty Number no. Nine and rightfully so, I think um, the the two D like pixel art games Inti Creates makes are just a masterclass. So like. Uh, both of the Curse of the Moon games, um, the Blaster Master Zero series is also good. I don't have the, the third one, but I have two of the... I have, like, Zero and Zero Two. Those are also really good. Uh, yeah, the one that's, like, Symphony of the Night is uh, Ritual of the Night. Uh, I have that one. I love it. I'm definitely going to stream that game. It's just going to take a while, because, that, man, that game is huge. Yeah, the Blaster Master on Switch, uh, that's Blaster Master Zero, and they made two sequels to that. I don't have the second one, like I don't have Blaster Master Zero 3, I think they call it, but Zero 2 is good too. It's download only. Yeah, I figured. I figured it is. It's good though. Uh, if you haven't checked those out, Zero 2 is really good. I can't speak to the third game because I don't own it, but it's it's got some really good pixel art in it. Uh, let's see... All right, let me let me get Fight and Rage loaded up. This game is fucking great, by the way. I don't think I can play this in a window, but if I can, I will. Uh, this game also has some super good music. Let 
It's evidenced by that uh, that guitar solo there. All right, let me see if I can window this game, because if I can, that would be perfect. All right, can I... Full screen, hang on. All right, you know what? I can play this in a window, actually. All right, let me get this up on screen. Game capture. And I think, I think this is the window. Okay, there it is. Ooh, doesn't quite go to the window border, but it's like nearly so. Okay, that's like, that's, that's pretty damn close. All right, let me keep this in a window. All right, um... Clean, post effect. Um... I actually think this game looks better when it's not too, like, blown out from the, uh... From the, the HDR. Like, if you put it on none, it's it looks all right. Hang on. Soft. Yeah, if you put this on low, I think it looks the best. You can really see the pixel art. Okay, let me not quit out. Alright, does anyone else uh, know about this game? Alright, unfortunately it's going to pause the game when I like have it minimized. So I'm going to try to not like uh, spend too much time reading chat while I play this, but I will I will pause to, to read it. Just the game will like pause itself if it's not like maximized or it's not like in focus. Mike Fury said, I didn't know there was two others. Uh, quick question, Konami or Capcom for best music? I would say Konami personally. <sighs> okay, if you're, if you're throwing in classic, and I'm, of course, biased to this, I would say... Oh, fuck. I would say Capcom, but that's because I'm, like... I am a, like, unapologetic Capcom fanboy. Like, Mega Man was my childhood. But I will wholeheartedly admit that Capcom had some absolute bangers on the NES especially, and the Super Nintendo was even better. I would say like, okay, so it's a different kind of awesome. Konami's music is like, Konami's music is like when it's good, it's like a nine or a 10, you know, it's like perfect when you get like a really good Konami song. Capcom's are more like sevens or eights. They're like more consistently good, I think, but they're like, you know, like, the best Capcom music compared to the best Konami music, I think Konami knocks it out of the park. Like, the Turtles in Time soundtrack, for example, is just a perfect 10. That game's music is just amazing. Um, uh, Gradius 3, perfect. Just amazing. And, you know, even some classics. I know you, you've talked to me about Russian Attack. Just classic. Just great. Neon Knight Riders. Oh, yeah, that stage music. All right, let me position this window where I can kind of see chat. Yeah, Castlevania. A again, a perfect example. Ca you can't beat Castlevania. All right, I'll let the how to play go through. I love how this... By the way, you didn't get to see it, but when you start this game, it even, like, has this sort of, like faux boot up screen like an arcade game so it does like the ram and the rom check and then it says like you know uh fight and rage world so it's like you know world release i, I just really like that even this like attract screen here looks like an arcade cabinet and if i ever get the money to like if i get a place of my own i would love to put this on like a raspberry pi or something and then put it like in an actual arcade cabinet with like a fight stick and buttons Oh, that would be that would be so fun. Especially like a three-player cabinet would be perfect. Uh, sleeper game, Mission Impossible for the NES. Uh, insane. I need to go listen to that. I don't know if I ever played. Uh, I don't think know if I've ever played that under the Ultra brand. Yeah, thanks for recommending that. I didn't even realize that music, the, the game's music, was so good. There's even some other ones too, like uh, Batman Returns on the NES is 
is uh, Konami, and that's got some like really good music too. Okay, so for this playthrough, we're gonna play my boy Ricardo. Dude is an absolute fucking unit. All right, I'm just gonna play on normal for now. Let's beat him up. And we're not gonna begin our save. So the thing about Fight and Rage is it's it's one of those fighting games with like multiple paths and you could, depending on which way you go you'll get a different ending. So if I want to get the better ending I actually have to escape here. Uh, if I want to get a worse ending I need to like proceed to the right. I know it seems like kind of counterintuitive that escaping would give you a better ending but you, you kind of need to. Uh, DJ Mike Fury says, I went down a rabbit hole on Konami soundtracks. Yeah, there's some really good ones, too. Um, you know, Metal Gear, Snake's Revenge, even though some people don't like Snake's Revenge, I think the soundtrack for it's just hella good. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get the better ending here, so we're gonna escape. So, this, this game... It's a it's a three button brawler. You have um, attack, jump, and special, kind of like Streets of Rage. But you can actually do some like pretty nuanced combos in this game. It has the Capcom combo thing too, where if you uh, like in Final Fight, like if you hold down, you'll throw an enemy behind you at the end of your combo. I just like how so many attacks in this game are like homages to Street Fighter and Final Fight. So like you have like the spinning lariat from uh, Hager and, and Zengi. You could do a Shoryuken with Ricardo. And the other two characters have like their own homages, you know, like callbacks to, to different stuff too. In fact, since Mike Fury, since you were talking about uh, Street Fighter 3, uh, the reason why my health bar is green is because I haven't taken damage in this level. So just like in Street Fighter 3, if you finish a level with like perfect, like without taking damage, you get a bonus for it. But as soon as you do, your health bar turns yellow, even if you restore your health. Uh, the, the, the peeps who developed this game just... I think they were, like, absolutely passionate about fighting games and beat-em-ups. Just trying my best to not take damage here. I probably still will, though. Skip. Oh, you prick. That's why I think he comboed me. So this has a lot of, like, stuff from uh, Street Fighter games, too. Uh, there is a parry in this, and it works the same way it works in uh, Third Strike, where if you tap forward just like just before you get hit, you'll flash blue. Uh, there's a hit recovery, like in the Alpha games, where if you take damage, you can hit, you can jump out of, like, uh, like, you can jump out of it and do, like, a recovery roll kind of thing. Uh, Bayou Billy, yeah, that's another classic. Yeah. <laughs> Zach's, like, passionate about Barra Bulls, too. Yeah, R Ricardo is my favorite in this game. I'm not even gonna hide the fact. He's just great. So, one thing you can do with enemies in this, if you damage them enough, you can reduce them to bones, and you get, like, extra score for it. Like that. You can absolutely just, like, maul things. And it's, it's easier with Ricardo just because he does, like, so much obscene damage. But the other characters are good, too. I just don't like playing them as much. Let me see if I can do a parry, too. 
And of course we've got, you know, the enemies on motorbikes, another another staple in games like this. Ow. Yeah, there's the recovery. Oh, and just like with uh, Streets of Rage, I think Streets of Rage 3 did this, but like when you, um, you'll see like a uh, SP flashing up there in the corner. That means you can do your special like without losing health. But if you spam it afterwards, you'll like lose a little bit of your health. So you want to be careful about that. Oh, I was hoping to grab him and like juggle him some more. the sprite flicker and everything. Again, this would just be perfect on, like, an arcade cab. Oh, I need that turkey. There we go. Oh, it's chicken. Oh, no, I'm getting Half-Life flashbacks from the chicken. <laughs> oh, this, uh, this power sphere, uh, you can spam your specials and it, like, zooms in. You can basically do, like, uh, create a combos, too. So it works like, uh, what is that called? Um, the, uh, uh, what is it? It's it's the thing in uh, Street Fighter Alpha where it's like A, there's like A, V, and I can't remember the other one, but it works like the uh, the V system where you can do like your creative combos. I think, I think second, or um, Alpha 2 had that too. Oh, there's a parry, there we go. Oh, and there, every character in this also has, like, a uh, secret attack, too. I actually parried that uh, that motorbike from behind, so apparently you can, like, even parry when you're not facing an enemy. That's kind of nuts. This is the game I was hoping Fallen Angel would get to see me play, so then he could tell me how good or bad I am at the game. Oh, there's another parry. Nice! Getting a lot of parries tonight. More than I usually do in this game. Oh! Up we go. Get up. And there was a parry, too. The, the timing for the parries is a little bit tight, but I got this. I want to be careful with these, like, judo dogs, because they, uh, they can grab you and pull you into, like, a command throw. There we go. Boss time? Yep. I think that was supposed to be a Biker Mice from Mars thing there, too. Alright, so the boss is the, uh, the gold-colored rat here. I don't have to beat any of the other guys except for him. He's the only boss I'm the only guy I need to fight. There we go. I I just love that you can like mangle the boss after you've like beat him too. <laughs> 
Sparta Chris, you shush. <laughs> Why am I not surprised you're playing a game like this? And Amon Rara says, Furries! It's not specifically a furry game. It's actually a really good beat em up, okay? Don't, don't give me any of your sass. This game is so much fun. My dude's being emo, okay? It's not a game over. He's just being emo. <laughs> Zach says, we're like, beat him off? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, hang on. This might pause the game. Oh, my. There we go. <laughs> we now return you to your regularly scheduled furry beat him up. <laughs> yeah, see, look. There's, there's non-furry characters in this. It's okay. It's okay. It looks good, though. Yeah, exactly. You can tell that the people who made this game really, really love beat em ups and like fighting games. There's, there's just a lot of like homage being played to, or pay, paid to like Capcom fighters, especially. Uh, Sparta says he's an emo furry. All the better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad that Jazzy went to bed before I started playing this. I wanted to hear what he would have to say about Ricardo, especially Ricardo, my favorite. Uh, Amon Rara says, oh, oh, and oo, oh, no. Sadly, sadly, Armin Rawa, there are no werewolves in this. Oh, wait, no, there are. There are actually werewolf enemies in this. I think you saw me beating them up earlier. Uh, thankfully, you didn't see me beating them off earlier. It's not that kind of stream, okay? <laughs> okay, um, I think to get the better ending, I need to go with Iris. If you if you wait around long enough, she'll just decide. She'll just be like, "Okay, I'll just I'll just go on without you." Okay, I, I deserve that horny bonk, by the way. Uh, Sparta Chris says that's more of your private time, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And I'll thank you to not talk about it, Sparta Chris. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. What I what I do in my time is my own fucking business. Okay. Some of these uh, cutscenes do kind of go on a bit long, you know, for like an arcade fighting game. But I haven't watched these in such a long time. I always just skip them and go on to the next like scene. Stay back. There's your wolf. There's your wolves, Dirk. <laughs> it's just getting a little bit pummeled, though. It's getting a little bit too busy here. So this, this game also has, like, move canceling, and you can cancel so much into other moves. It's kind of ridiculous. Alright, hang on. I want to grab this so I can do some... 
You're also completely invincible when you grab those, like, power spheres. So we're just gonna, like, combo these guys to death. We're not, we're not done yet. You enjoy all the killing, that's why. Oh, these guys are not easy to grab, wow. That's fine. Shadow says it has monkeys in it later in the game. Yep, yeah, Shadow, you know about this game, I'm sure. Uh, also, Zach, what you say about me being an arcade toddler? Hang on a second. Hang on a moment. I'm going to pause the game in just a minute. I'm going to see what you said about me. Just a minute here. Just, just a dang minute. Okay, wait a second here. Looks good, though. Uh... Shadow says, it's about time Fight and Rage got a sequel, I say, or at least an expansion. Great mix of Streets of Rage's survival feel and Final Fight style of bouncing around and combos. Brutal difficulty, though. Love it. Yeah. Glad to hear there's another uh, Fight and Rage appreciator in chat. Uh, <laughs> uh, not not Mike Hager has a snazzy hat there. Yeah, I like the, uh, I like the little, like, hat you can get for him. Uh, I think the um, Luchador mask fix, fits Ricardo better, though. But it's all good. Uh, Sparta Chris says, Thank God there are no monkeys in this game. Uh, you'd be spanking the monkeys. Yeah, th sadly there are monkeys later in the game, too. <laughs> then Sparta says, God, DJ is going to be spanked. Is, is going to be spanked the monkey. <laughs> Zach says, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there, there's gonna be monkeys. They might get spanked. Sadly. Oh, his wake up attack. I forgot about that. I'm gonna mod it here. Okay, this is getting a little bit busy. Oh, that's what I want, right? In there. Please let me grab that. Well, that was almost terrible. Ooh, just buried right through him, boy. Get out of here. Oh, I, it's it's really hard to connect with uh, Ricardo's like secret tech. Oh, we want to save the ladies. By the way, there's Jiggle Physics there too, for all the uh, gentlemen in chat or boob appreciators. If you like some some pixelated boobies, which is another reason why I like this game. Here come the cats. Here. <laughs> Zach says that wolf could have been someone's VTuber avatar. It could have been Dirk's, actually. 
Uh, I just turned him into a hashtag, so... By the way, all the moves that I'm doing in this, at least some of the more complex ones, are actually done with uh, kind of simplified, like, motion controls. So to do uh, Ricardo's Dragon Punch, it's like down, up, and attack. And there's other moves in the game that are like that, too, where they're, they, they're done with, like, uh, button inputs. So it's, it's kind of like playing a more primitive fighting game. All right, let me catch up with chat here. Uh, Zach says I'm in trouble. Uh, the wolf thing, I read that. Uh, Shadow says, Fight and Rage is a favorite of mine too. I'm not into the chibi and gore style, uh, but it's hardly much of a nitpick when it all plays so well. Uh, and Dirk says, no wolf. Yeah, I wouldn't even, I don't even know if I would still call this like gore, because it's just like bones. There's no like blood, at least as far as I can see. I mean, it could have been a lot more violent. But I get that, I, and I understand it's not not for everybody. Uh, but like you said, it's like it's hard to be you know like it's hard to nitpick the game when it like plays so incredibly well. I don't know who you, who you were trying to hit, but it certainly wasn't me. I really want to grab one of those knives. I just don't want one of these rat dudes to, like, shank me while I'm trying for it. Oh, I'll take that. Can I have this? Thank you. Ooh, hang on. Yeah, I want to grab that and take that into the boss fight. <laughs> Dirk says boobies. Yeah, don't worry, you'll see some. At least I think you'll see some on this route. Okay, this part is a little bit bloody. This guy's got a, uh, a wake-up attack. I don't want to, like, be too close to him when he does it. Thankfully... We can throw him. Come here. Oh, the thing I just did was, like, trade with the uh, the boss, too. So if you attack at the same time as an enemy, you take less damage, but you still take some. Ooh, I'll take that. Excuse me. I don't want to pick up the knife. I want to beat up the cat. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, I was hoping to hit him one more time. Oh yeah, I agree with you there, Shadow. Hang on, let me let me read that too. Let's see if there's a cutscene. See some of these stages, like sometimes there's like you enjoy all the <laughs> killing. That's why. Oh no, I might. <laughs> uh, let me let me catch up on chat a little bit. Sometimes there's like long cutscenes between levels, and sometimes there isn't. It all depends on the um, 
on the route you take through the game. Uh, let's see. Dirk says, I'll take a VTuber if you could find one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, Dirk. We'll, we'll see if we can hook you up. And then Shadow says, no, that's cat soup. Oh, I see what you did there. Hang on, that needs a Gino. Uh, and then he says the cat chef is definitely a wake-up call for players Excuse me when you got to hone in on some good combos just to survive uh, not easy cheap stuff You got to be smart. Yeah, exactly like it's it's just at that stage of the game when you might be getting a bit comfortable Like thinking you could just like stand over certain enemies But even those like uh, regular cat enemies like the the blue colored ones and like the light like the beige colored ones will do the same thing. They'll do that like electric attack if you like if you're they'll kinda like blanka zap you if you're too close. Zach says the guy was just trying to make some tomato soup. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Todd Howard. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't control myself. It's 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 cause I enjoy the killing, that's why. You enjoy all the killing. That's why. These, these wolves are a pain in the ass to fight with anyone other than Ricardo, because they'll stand, like, just out of your range, like that, and then move to hit you. And that one still ended up hitting me. Oh boy, if Spartacris is still here, he's gonna see the monkeys. Monkey spanked. Okay. some headbutts. Some good old headbutts. Never hurt anybody. Okay, they, they, they always hurt everybody. But they probably hurt everyone more than they hurt Ricardo. Come here! Stop running away from me. Uh, oh, let me pause real quick. Shadow says, watching this... Uh, Make, makes me want to play the game again. Wish I could jump in for co-op. I don't know if it has online co-op, though, unfortunately. I do wish it did, because I would absolutely love to play this with other people. I, By the way, me and the wife played this so much together that she, like, doesn't want to play it anymore, because we played it that much. I feel bad. I, like, I got her, like... So tired of the game from because I wanted to get all the endings and yes, I have seen all of them with every character. I know I need help. Dang it! I missed I missed my parry timing. Yeah, that blue cat there just tried to do his uh, Blanca move on me. That's monkey time. You know, I probably didn't need to use a super there. Didn't use up that much health, but I probably could have, like, not bothered.
I'm going to be taking the uh, fork in the forest so I can uh, fight Diane, I think her name is. I try to not take any chances with those uh, Bruce Lee looking monkey guys too, because uh, they, they're a bit spry. Uh, is that, her shadow says, uh, not online, remote play works sorta, uh, but every frame is super important and it's already hard enough. Oh, okay, I get you. You probably also need two people with really, really good internet if you're going to do remote play together. Alright, I'm going to take this side path. You know, this game is like kind of short enough that I could probably go all the way through it before I switch games. And then I might play a little bit of Shovel Knight if anyone still cares. We'll see. There we go. I like how the boomerang works, too. Or as long as you're, like, on the same horizontal plane as it, you'll pick it back up. Any of those things for the boss. Oh yeah, that's true. There's a bot. There's a option for uh, bot players. Oh boy. Oh. Fox lady's kicking my ass. Oh, and you can't grab her too, right? could have done this no damage if I was just a little bit more careful with the boomerang. There we go. Okay, uh, Shadow says there is an option for bot players, though. Uh, I gotta get a three-player session going one of these days. I have actually played this game with three human players. It was me, the wife, and a friend of mine when he was in town. Um, I don't know if my friend enjoyed it that much, and it's it's not even because there's, like, you know, furries in the game or whatever. I don't know. I sh he just wasn't feeling it. I think he might have been, like, kind of down or something. But it was it was fun. I had a blast. I think he might have just had some other stuff on his mind at the time, too, because, yeah, you know how it is. Oh, the the... Bouncers in the next level. Yeah, they're gonna do the thing that Dudley does. I know the best way to deal with these is uh, parry them. It's not always the easiest thing. Oh, right, you can't grab them. Alright. I forgot. The the stronger ones you can't. Ow! Alright. I prefer to parry one at a time. Ah! There we go. Yeah. If you do it just right... Uh, you can parry them and they're just like right in your face. 
They have like they like kind of lose all momentum when they do that dash punch. Oh, never mind. Sorry, I was just I was thinking I might have forgot something, but I'm okay. That piece of shit still hit me? Wow. How rude. I just want to get rid of, like, some of the enemies. I love how they do uh, Bison's, like, slide kick. That was a good combo. That was a good double parry, too. game does feel really good to play. Oh, here come the big boys. I want to go backstage here. Oh, this might have been the wrong way. Oh, well. Kind of the same boss, too. If you take the other way, you fight this guy as well. Whoa. This dude loves to loves to grab. Oh, this is supposed to be like Vegas stage from Street Fighter 2. Well, that's enough. For a second, I thought the uh, audience was catcalling me, but they're actually catcalling the boss. There we go. Hit him with that uppercut right at the end. 
yeah. Uh, Ricardo, where are you? Where are you fondling her to find out she's still breathing? That looked a little bit sussy there, buddy. I should have done the call an ambulance thing here, but not for me. <laughs> I wish I had that button for just that occasion. Fighting things on these slopes. There we go. <laughs> Biker mice from ours. Yeah, I thought that was that's what they were referencing. Starting the uh, ninja sparrows or something? I'm not sure what those are. Some kind of ninja birds. Shadow, if you know what those those like ninja birds are supposed to be, let me know. Like if they're a reference to a Street Fighter character or something. I know these guys are supposed to basically be like Foot Clan members. Oh, that that pipe noise. I forgot how satisfying the, the pipe was to use in this. Oh, I hate this boss. <laughs> Ibuki? It could be. It could be. Okay, this part I have to be really careful. I almost forgot about this area. Alright, 
Oh mio. There we go. the drink with you. Okay, there's the ninja birds. I probably should have let them live a little, a little bit longer. I can't help myself, okay? <laughs> when I play as Ricardo, nothing survives. Not even me. boss time. Not a big fan of this boss, just because he likes to hide off the side of the platform. Oops. I was trying to do my super there. Ah! That's enough. Probably the only boss in this game that's kind of hard to fight is Ricardo. I'm glad I at least got to parry him, though. That was fun. Is there anyone left alive to give me an F in chat? Oh, DJ Mike Mike Fury says, uh, night DJ, talk soon, heading to bed. Have a good night, DJ Mike Fury. It's just so weird calling someone else DJ, because <laughs> everybody calls me that. Anyways, have a good night, DJ Mike Fury. Again, thanks you thanks so much for coming by and checking out the streams. You know, take care. And we'll talk more about music some other time, okay? Peace. Perry's nice.
Ooh, you got parry, mofo. guys. Too bad I can still command for you. I can't stress enough how good the combo feels, the comboing feels in this game. I can actually grab these guys. Get out of the way. There we go. Oh, from full life to nothing. Is that all the biker mice from Mars? It looks to be. Alright. We're we'll on Dirk's favorite part now with the wolves. Oh, there's monkeys too. Great. Oh, there's other stuff too. Great. Done with. Just gotta deal with the purple wolves. <sighs> just want to hit with that final attack. It's just so hard though to get them to position. Like you need to like get them against a wall and then you can do it. This is your, um, your, like, special move recovery.
There we go. I think chat has all fallen asleep. Let me see if we've got any lurkers, and if not, I think we will call it a night here. We're at the final level, but we can always do this on another night. That's all good. Okay. Let's have a check here. Uh, how we doing over here, chat? Make sure nothing's broken. It looks like everything's good. Um, let me see here. Yeah, Restreamer says we're doing fine. Uh, oh, Insidious Bliss says, uh, lurking. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't... Hang on. Did those did those messages show up in my chat? Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, lurk a derp. Yeah, that's fine. If you guys want to lurk, that's fine. I, th I think Melee Games is still going, aren't they? Let me have a look. I think they might still be doing their thing here. Um, oh yeah, they're still doing the town square. Okay, all right. Um, I can keep going if we've still got some lurkers. Let me see here. Rumble's pretty quiet. <laughs> I just noticed your comment, Zach. I thought I thought he he touched her ass to see if she was still breathing. Yeah, that was a that was a bit of a bad touch. Uh, yeah, they're still going, Insidious. Um. All right. I don't want to stay up too late tonight since I have a um, since I have a show. I think it's at like twelve or something like that, and then like I'm going right from that pretty much to uh, playing uh, Abiotic Factor with you and Paul. So like I might play for a little bit longer. I just I, I want to get to bed before three for sure. Um. Hmm. I wanna f you know let me let me finish this game okay I'm just gonna like finish this so that way if we do another one of these I can like rotate another game in um, and this this like final level like isn't that long anyway Okay, I'm upset. The the one enemy I could have actually hit with like Ricardo's follow up, and it's an enemy that can like block. So of course he blocks it. Baby. There we go. Uh, 
This is such a Streets of Rage homage here with the, the rising lift. There's one of these, like, buffalo things dead already. There we go. Easy clear. Okay, I think cats are next? Let me see. You want to throw me? No, 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 no. I don't how it goes around here. Oh, I finally hit the follow up. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Oh, that's right, it's the... The evil... The evil Minotaur. Who has a ton of super armor, by the way. You'll stay in that quarter, right where I put you, young man. Okay, is it the biker last? Up oh, here he comes. Okay, there's that cleared. I think there's like two more screens. There's this like kind of darkened area, and then we've got the uh, the final hallway. There's one, yeah, it's these. I was gonna say, I thought there was like one more group of enemies. Oh, 
Alright. And then there's one more piggy. Okay, there's a couple of piggies. Okay, here's the final hallway. Died from a knife wound, not from me beating his ass. Alright. We've got a sub boss here, like two like big leopard guys, and then it's the final boss time. I'm kind of surprised Ricardo can actually grab these guys, because the uh, other boss, like the proper boss variation of them, you can't. There's, there's another F. Uh, the only thing I don't like about these dudes is they have just a little bit too much super armor. There we go. <laughs> oh, are you the boss? No, that's an extra room down. I do cupcakes and muffins. One thing I would always like to do, Shadow, is um, parry the boss's machine gun. But I have a feeling that's going to take a lot of practice. You know, like when he shoots like a bunch of shots at you. I'm not quite a brave enough boy to try that. Of them there. Oh, oh, eat, oh, eat, oh. Ow.
Uh, Shadow says, they could have made the gun super cheap, kind of like games like it's inspired from, but I like how they added the tells and pacing. Very thought thoughtful and making it easy. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I honestly think there's that they want you to try to parry every shot, and it looks like you can. You just have to be, like, on point. You know, I have five lives. I want to try to parry a full volley of his attacks to see if he even can. Oops, I wasn't ready. Let me, let me get him to do it. Sometimes he just doesn't shoot until, like, when you want him to. Alright, come on, just get back far enough. Yeah, you definitely can do it. <gasps> oh, that was... That was almost every shot parried. I got hit by two, but yeah, you can totally do it. Okay, that was, that was kind of hype. Yeah, I, I think I got shot by two of two of them out of out of like seven or eight. I'm not sure how many he, like how many volleys he shot, but I am I'm proud of myself for that. That's pretty good. I do like how they even do like the speed run timer at the end. That's quite nice. Uh, Shadow says, "Woo!" And then, and then you humans were free. And then the breakfast cereals <laughs> did flow from the cereal slides at Earth cereal cereal silos in space. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I played this back like in 2017 or 2018, I've I've been clamoring for a sequel, or like you said, even just a DLC or an expansion or something like that. It's it's so good. It deserves a part two. see which ending I got. I don't think I got the best ending. I forgot if they tell you like what ending type you got. It seemed like it was really anticlimactic. Ending D. All right, it wasn't the worst ending. Oh man, this game still feels so fun to play, and um, I'm glad you stuck with this shadow. It's always nice to like 
have another uh, Fight and Rage appreciator, you know, hanging out in chat. So you, you know exactly what I'm talking about with this game. Just... Uh... All right, let me, let me quit out of this one properly. Um... Yeah, like you said, give Ricardo some new moves, a few new characters or two, a new campaign, maybe with a mix on the uh, progression mechanics. Yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, they could even do, like, um, oh, you know what I'd like to see? Hang on, let me put out of this. You know what I'd really like to see is um, something kind of like Mighty Final Fight did on the NES, where, like, uh, you would unlock new moves by, like, gaining experience. I mean, they could even make it sort of like a progression system where it's like, it's carried over like between plays. So like between playthroughs, you would gain experience towards a specific character. Uh, you said, yeah, I love my scrolling beat em ups. Uh, this one is right next to Streets of Rage and Ninja Baseball Batman. Oh, Ninja Baseball Batman. That is a really good arcade game. I need to stream that sometime as well. I know how good that game is. It's just crazy. Um, how are we doing over here? Uh, things are peaceful over on on Twitch and on Rumble. I uh, we still have some people watching on Rumble too. That's cool. Uh, two viewers on Twitch, and we've got a few people watching on YouTube as well. It's pretty peaceful and quiet, but I mean, I kind of expect it around this time at night. Um, you know, I should probably call it here. I, I didn't get a chance to get to Shovel Knight, but I mean, that's fine. It's kind of the most popular one of the bunch. Uh, Shadow says, I'm not a fan of locking out moves personally, but something to chew on would be nice uh, campaign-wise. Um... I'm trying to think, like, what else they could do for, like, character progression. Uh, Zach says, catching up with morning stuff. Oh, right, it's morning over there for you. I forgot. Yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. You know, I'm just happy that you're, like, still lurking. You know, at least you enjoy what's going on. That's fine, even if you don't have time to chat. Uh, maybe if they didn't um, lock moves in the sequel, they could always do, like, cosmetics uh, as far as, like, character progression or, like... Um, maybe, maybe just like unlocking supers or just moves that aren't like either ones that like aren't necessary, you know, just stuff that's like quality of life things, or maybe like you could unlock passives for your character, something like that, or just more health, you know, something that like wouldn't be like game breaking. They would just be like, it would make your characters just slightly more powerful, but they would still have the same move sets. I'm not really sure, you know, just something like that could still unbalance a game too, you know, if, if a character was strong enough, so I'm not really sure the best way to balance that kind of thing. Um, let me see what's going on here. You know what we haven't done in a while? Let's just get a, let's just get a random Bonk Town report in here because we haven't heard from Fuzzy in a while. What you got for us, Fuzzy? Well, 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 my furry and not so furry viewers, <laughs> gather round for some juicy Bonk Town news. Did you know that in this bonkers city, every Monday morning, a herd of talking cows named Bessie storms City Hall, demanding a grasp of a fit for royalty? But hold your udders, my friends, because oh, there's a twist. My goodness. The mayor has this? a secret weapon to tame these mooing rebels. And let me tell you, it involves a tub of organic strawberry ice cream. 50 clown noses, and a tap-dancing octopus. Stay tuned, my dear couch potatoes, for more wild tales from Bonk Town, where even the cows know how to protest in style. <laughs> but until then, I leave you with a resounding meow. Thank you, Fuzzy. <laughs> that was kind of amazing. <laughs> do da do bump bump town news today <laughs> did clown john approve this he might have i i know clown john was mentioned last time so maybe maybe uh oh i i forgot to read this bit too um shadow says custom cosmetics 
uh, or uh, or how about spare weapons that could be customized? That would actually be pretty cool. Um, maybe you could even like uh, so if they did something like a weapon durability system, you know, like how um, I think Streets of Rage three had that, where like eventually weapons would break. Maybe you could even get like. Uh, different versions of weapons, even if they were just cosmetic, or maybe you can like ultimately unlock like gold versions of weapons that never broke, or maybe did slightly more damage or something like that, or they could like break through like uh, super armor. Just just something like that would be a, a nice idea. I, I definitely agree with you about um, locking out some of your moves behind character progression. It's that's really no fun. You really want to have like your full arsenal right from the get go. Um, a big, uh, a big in a plus five, five pipe and try not to lose it. <laughs> and Zach says often semi, semi AFK, but I come running back to the keyboard when I hear fuzzy. Oh, 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 right. I forgot. It's your bay. <laughs> uh, weapon techniques, uh, best of both. Yeah, exactly. In fact, I remember a friend of mine, uh, he's, um, he's kind of fallen like so ill that he's bedridden. But when he was able to be up and around, me and him would, like, talk video games all day long. And I remember one of the things he always wanted to see in a, a brawler would be, like, uh, I think it was, like, an arcade... The arcade Punisher game did something like this, where there would be, like, weapon uh, finisher moves. So, like, if you were holding, like, a, a lead pipe or a baseball bat, like, when you took off the last of an enemy's health, you could, like, do some, like, you know, like, but input and do, like, a special that involved a weapon. So that would be kind of cool too. Like maybe have, uh, if Ricardo has like a lead pipe, you could do like a command throw or something where he like picks the enemy up and like hits him like a baseball, like across the screen and it like, you know, plows into everything like in the enemy's way. That I think that would be cool. Um, uh, oh, bring in, sorry, type. Oh no, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, Shadow says, uh, love the added weapon moves in Streets of Rage remakes. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Uh, yeah, that little extra stuff is fun. Uh, don't limit, just give extra. Yeah, I get you. Like, it's no fun having to, like, unlock your moves. Hang on, let me put some tunes back on. All right, I, I don't think I'm going to get to Shovel Knight tonight. Uh, but just to be safe, I'm going to put... Switch over on just chatting for now. Put some music on in the background. There we go. By the way, Zach, if you want, we can give you a special Bonk Town report too. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want Fuzzy to say about you, but like, remember, we could do custom reports. Uh, Shadow says, yeah, like roguelikes, uh, you get you get half the game to unlock it so it can be played properly in a big drag. Yeah, or playing properly is a big drag. Yeah, I get that. I get that. Uh, so, sometimes like the progression in those games is ridiculous, too. So like by the time you unlock everything, you're already like sick of the game because it took so long to up, like unlock all the features. Uh, I think a good example of that, and I actually might play this again just because it's been a while, but like stuff like Binding of Isaac, where there's just so fucking much you can unlock in that game, it's it's like, I think it's like a four or five hundred hour clear now, it might even be more than that, but I think I've already spent like 250 hours in the game, and I still have like a bunch to unlock, and especially since I haven't played it since, um, oh jeez, I don't even know if I played Afterbirth at all. There's so much to unlock in that game, it's crazy. Hmm, what could 
I make a dumb Bonk Town report on? Let me think here. Uh, <laughs> Zach says, Fuzzy, where the hell did the Bonk Town cow suddenly... You know, I'm not sure. I, th I think there might be a thing with, like, cookies or something in the, the news prompts. So I'm not exactly sure. Uh, Shadow says, Gunfire Reborn kind of does that at first. I recommend uh, Stramium Immortality. I know about that game. I think I had it, like, wishlisted for the longest time uh, for roguelikes, but it's more of a shmup first. Weird game, but it's a goodie. Yeah, in fact, that same developer makes a lot of, like, weird games, but they're, like... They're not too grindy, like, they hit just right with, like, the, the time it takes to unlock things. Um, I actually have Spirits Abyss and uh, Bone Razor Minions, which are by the same developer who made those, who made uh, Stramium. And they're, those are both really, really fun games. In fact, I actually might play Spirits Abyss on stream sometime, and maybe Bone Razor too. I, I might even put those in, like, an indie showcase like this. Uh, Zach says, Fuzzy, should DJ play Orc Massage? Um, that's more of a fuzzy question, but I could ask her that, too. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of that developer as well. Also, the music in those games, especially um, Spirits Abyss and Bone Razor, is just mwah, just amazing, uh, like, old-school, like, chiptune music. I absolutely love it. Hang on, Zach. Let me let me send that to just the regular fuzzy question thread. Let me see here. You know, what's, you know what's sad is I actually know about work massage. Heaven help me. <laughs> I got problems, all right. Okay. All right, Zach, here's, here's, your, here's your reply. Oh, absolutely. Positively not. DJ Axis. Work massage may sound intriguing, but trust me, it's not the kind of game you want to showcase on the stream, unless you're looking for some shocking and eyebrow-raising content. <laughs> Let's keep it classy, shall we? Smirking cat face, nail polish, sparkles. <laughs> that was actually pretty, that was pretty sassy of Fuzzy. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> Yeah, I figured uh, Fuzzy Fuzzy actually does seem to know about like adult games. Also, I don't even know if you can stream that on Twitch, so. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I, I want to give you like a really good um, fuzzy like news headline. I'm just trying to think of something. Let's see here. Uh, Shadow says the music is taken from some talented chiptune makers. I do wish the games had more dynamic original music, but they all fit in very well and they help with the old feel of the atmosphere. Yeah, they. I do. It, it sucks too because like I really start getting into some of those musics and then they just fade out. And like I do like how they're all on like a rotation too, so you never really get sick of any one music. You know, like if you're in like an area longer than you should be. But they do, they all kind of work together, you know, like they all really fit the feel of the, t or the tone of the game. That's really nice. I, I need to reinstall Spirits Abyss. I, I really like that game. It's just, oh man, sometimes you get completely fucked though. Uh, Shadow says, ask Fuzzy about Clown John and the Bonktown Cows team. Um, I wonder if she, I don't know if she knows about Clown John. Um, let's see, Sp Spirits Abyss, I gotta play that again too. Yeah, you should, you should. I really love Spirits Abyss. By the way, is, should I like give her some, so, so like, if the person is like a celebrity or a streamer or something, you kind of have to like specify that. 
So just just like help me out here. I want I want to make sure Fuzzy like knows who I'm talking about. So like just tell me like how I should uh, preface this person when I like feed the info to Fuzzy. It's it's for the content, okay? It's for the content. Homie the Clown is an old celebrity sort of... I, I know about Homie the Clown. Yeah, I know about Homie the Clown. I used to watch In Living Color when I was like... Uh, maybe 10 or 11 or so? I streamed longer than Melee today? Oh shit! How the turntables. <laughs> I like how you're giving me like an award for that. Wait, did, did James raid me? Oh, I don't think he did. I don't even know if James uh, does raids. It's all cool. It's all good, though. I hope uh, the town square went well. Uh, Zach says, what is your stream schedule for the rest of the week? So I've been trying to stream, like, on and off. Uh, now that I've streamed, like, so tonight's, for me, it's still Friday since I haven't gone to bed. Um, I'm probably going to stream... Um, Sunday, uh, well, I'll be, okay, so I'll be on, like, some shows tomorrow, or, well, Saturday, since it's already after midnight, it's Saturday for you, too, so I'll be on, um, Goes Nowhere Does Nothing's podcast later today, and then I'll be streaming with Insidious Bliss and Paul Hadouken. I won't be streaming that myself, I think Paul's gonna stream it, but I'll be playing with them. Um, so I'm probably gonna stream Sunday from the looks of it. Uh, and if I don't stream Sunday, it's going to just be Monday, Wednesday, Friday again, like always. Uh, so I always try to stream like every other day. So like uh, if I keep to the schedule, it's going to be um, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. But if I don't, it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Sunday again. Just, it, I haven't done like a, a definitive schedule because sometimes I feel like streaming and then some days I'm like, you know, I'll just let it go a day. I just, I almost didn't stream today, but then the wife was like, you should stream some, some, some of this. And if you're going to play indie games, play some Magic Hat. So that's how I ended up streaming today after all. And it, it worked out really good. You know, I'm, I'm really happy I decided to, or I, I, when I say I decided to, I mean, I'm happy the wife talked me into it. <laughs> uh, Shadow says, oh, idea. If you play Stramium Immortality, could you, uh, could you maybe blind player two to chat uh, to chat control and aid you with the remote turret, or bind player two to a chat control? Um, maybe. Can can you do that? To chat control. Um, I'll have to talk to to Jazzy about if we can do something like that. But that would be really interesting. I do want to like do stuff like that where we get chat actually like involved in games and i know for stuff like twitch it's pretty easy since they have like um those twitch chat extensions so i would definitely be down for doing something like that in the future i still need to get strabium immortality but i know there's like I i'm pretty sure there's some steam sales coming up and that game is always cheap when it's on sale so yeah i'd definitely be down for that uh, Zach says, also, if you ever catch me playing uh, Secret of Mana or whatever, really, you're welcome to just hop on Jazzy style. Oh, sweet. Nice. Uh, I, I definitely got to, like, get on board next time you do, like, the adventures of Fuckboy. <laughs> the other Fuckboy Randy, who doesn't have a gun and a security helmet. <laughs> uh, Shadow says, I don't know, there should be a way to, and the turret is kind of not super important to gameplay. Oh, okay, so like it's it's just like something nice to have, but it's not like game breaking. Uh, it's borked on the Switch version, but eh, I play on Stream Deck now. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll talk to Jazzy about doing like Twitch extension kind of stuff, or to see if I can like bind it to chat controls. I know you could do stuff like that. <laughs> Zach says it's the Ra he's the Randy that got away. <laughs> Oh. 
Brown John and the Bonk Town Cows team. You know what? Let me let me like feed this uh here. Let me feed this into the into the fuzzy news report because I want to hear what what fuzzy makes up about this and we'll see if she knows okay okay here comes your your special fuzzy news report this, this is this is going to be something. <laughs> Breaking news, folks. Hold on to your nose plugs, because in Bonk Town, Clown John, the flamboyant celebrity clown, has just been appointed as the head coach of the Bonk Town Cow Sports Team. The rumor has it that he plans to turn the team's training sessions into a chaotic circus extravaganza, complete with squirty flower water bottles and banana peel obstacle courses. <laughs> Will this unconventional approach lead the cows to victory or make them the laughing stock of the league? Tune in next time for more unpredictable antics in Bonk Town. And remember, don't forget your popcorn for this clown-flavored spectacle, my dear viewers. Meow. <laughs> Thank you, Fuzzy. <laughs> Those plugs. And Zach also says, apparently the fuckboys have been spilling over to my other Let's Plays. I'm even wearing a fuckboy mask and, and Majora's mask right now. <laughs> Uh, Shadow says, oh, it's perfect. And Insidious Bliss says, she always looks so excited when telling us the news. It's Fuzzy. Fuzzy is, by the way, Fuzzy is a total attention whore. She she loves this, okay? In fact, Fuzzy thinks this whole channel is about her. I mean, this is why, like, sometimes when you, like, when we ask Fuzzy about, uh, what, is, what does she think about DJ or Jazzy or something? And it's, we always are treated like her sidekicks. She's the real star of the show. So, so that's what it is. It's just, it's just Fuzzy is excited because she thinks that she's, she thinks it's so cute. She thinks she's the streamer. Oh, you know, hang on. That brings up a good question. Let me ask Fuzzy this. She inserts herself in every answer. Yeah. Okay, here's here's Fuzzy's answer. Uh, so I asked her, how does how would she feel about becoming a live streamer, and if so, what kind of video games would she play? So let's see what Fuzzy says. Oh, honey, no need to ask. Fuzzy Wuzzy would definitely slay the live stream scene one day. When it comes to games, I'd bring a whole new level of cuteness and sass to classics like Super Mario Bros., Animal Crossing, and maybe sprinkle some Just Dance for a little extra sparkle. Oh shit. Get ready for a perfectly fabulous stream. Meowless, smiley cat face, video game, sparkles. That was a lot of emojis too. Oh no, I can, I can already see fuzzy streams in my head too. Damn it. <laughs> As, as soon as Fuzzy has her own streams, I, I know Zach's just gonna unfollow. <laughs> He's gonna follow Fuzzy instead. <laughs> f f that's the thing, Fuzzy doesn't need a body or arms or legs. <laughs> Sh she'll make it work somehow, okay? She'd be on 24 se Oh, you're right. That's kind of scary. I mean, they already have like AI musicians. In fact, they might even have AI streamers already too. Oh no. 
now all we, now all we need to see to complete this is uh, Fuzzy finally accepts that she's really a cat girl all along. I mean, Fallen Angel will be happy about that. Oh, hey, that would be a good Bonk Town report. You know what? This will be this will be the Bonk Town news report we like we like end the stream on, but not not like end right away. You know what I mean? This will be the this will be the last one of the night with Fuzzy. Um, how do I want to word this? Okay. Knowing Fuzzy, she's not going to play along, but we'll see. Hold on to your whiskers, Bonk Town, because Fuzzy Wuzzy, your sassy news reporter, <laughs> is not just any old rabbit. In a shocking twist, uh -oh. our beloved Fuzzy Wuzzy has been unmasked as a mischievous cat girl in disguise. Oh, Secretly patrolling the city with her newfound feline skills, she's on a mission to uncover the truth behind Bonk Town's quirky ways. Who knew these ears could hide such a perfect secret? Stay tuned as Fuzzy Wuzzy continues to unravel the city's mysteries, one meow at a time. This is Bonk Town TV, scratching the surface of the truth. Ha! <laughs> got him! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. S someone direct that to Fallen Angel. We, we finally got a confession out of Fuzzy that she's actually been a cat girl this whole time. She might be lying. She might be gaslighting. But for all intents and purposes, Fuzzy did confess that she's actually a cat girl. And now we know. We need to get some fan artists on this, pronto. <laughs> Asking for a friend. Zach says she might just be saying it because Fallen Angel- <gasps> You're right! You know when he shows up, she's not gonna play along at all. She's just gonna be like, Oh, Fallen Angel. That's sweet. But I would never become a cat girl. I'm just a cute and sassy rabbi. Cat face. <laughs> Sparkles. Colostomy bag. <laughs> Fuzzy just be like that. <laughs> Gaslighting queen. Yeah, exactly. I mean, she's programmed to gaslight. We, we told her this. This is part of her chat parameters. I don't remember what the actual line that Jazzy made up for chat GPT, but I think it's something like lie even if you have or lie if you have to or something like that. I don't remember the actual parameters, but Fuzzy will absolutely lie just to make people happy. She's, she's kind of horrible like that, okay? You know, she's the perfect woman, okay? Let's be real. Let's be real here, boys. Let's be real here. Fuzzy is the perfect woman, okay? <laughs> you may not like it, but this is what peak woman looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Despite that silliness, I should probably call this a stream, but I just want to thank everybody for showing up on this uh, almost surprise stream. I like wasn't, I almost wasn't going to stream tonight, but I'm, I'm really glad I changed my mind. We had a lot of fun playing some indie games together, and I'm definitely going to do this again. Like, let me see here. Uh, and I've got... Uh, stream elements opened up so I can actually do the I can actually do the tip read this time. There we go. Alright, let me get that all prepped. Uh, let me see if there's any last minute stuff in chat I can address. And then we'll go through our our farewells and stuff. Uh, Zach says, oh right, did you get around to watching the fuckboy clip I sent? I, I need to. You know what, I'll check that out, like, after I end the stream. Because I, I know usually, like, DM me. Like, and we, we kind of talk for a little bit. So I, I want to reserve some time for that before I, like, go to bed proper. 
it is getting kind of late here too so i'll um just if you sent me that already uh just like uh you know like link it back to me in chat so that way i it's like you know i could just pull it up and watch it real quick because i don't want to like keep forgetting about that uh fuckboy clips are important okay <laughs> these are crucial but anyways I, I'm, I'm really happy everybody enjoyed this stream. I had a lot of fun playing these kind of games with you and, you know, shining a spotlight on some really, really great indie stuff. Uh, I'm, I do want to play some uh, Bloodstained next time. I know uh, Internet Crusader mentioned Infernax. I don't have that, but I need to get it. So we can always, like, rotate some indie games in. I finished Fight and Rage, so, like, I probably won't play that again next time. But I will continue uh, Magic Hat some more, and I'll continue some Panzer Paladin if people want to see it. Maybe you can even put it up to like a vote in chat or something like that. Uh, so with the tips, I want to thank Hamas Movie Hamas Movie Blob. Oh, I'm sorry, Hamas Movie. No, wait, hang on, I, I need I need a magnifier. My eyesight. Hamas Movie Blob. Ghost of DJ's hard drive. Uh, the goddamn Loch Ness monster, gay chef boy RD, DJ's lungs, melee, melee Jim Jam's anus, Jazzy's dinner, <laughs> gay chef boy RD again, Doctor Zayas, Bonk Town News Alert, Elseworlds Fuzzy, and the ghost of DJ's hard drive once again, uh, doing their best to support us here. You know it means a lot to get these tips and donations from people. Uh, I'm just happy you enjoy the streams enough to where I can hopefully do this as a career and you know just it, it's it's nice it's nice to hear that people enjoy what we're doing here that the the dumb memes and like shit posting it's it's basically like a sh like see the, the, the secret is it's a shit post disguised as a live stream <laughs> Uh, oh, and Zach says, uh, sure thing, it was yesterday from the Half-Life stream. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I I must have missed it. I, I think by the time I was done with Half-Life, I was pretty burnt out. Like, I, this is why I didn't play more M-Mod tonight. Like, it was just... I, I was getting a little bit salty at M-Mod, too. Like, it, the game was, it was kind of fucking with me, and I wasn't happy about it. Uh, Shadow says, watching you guys stream does have me wanting to try streaming again. You should! You know, I always want to see people, like, take up the uh, the hobby as well. You know, whether you want to do it for, for fun or to do it as a career. Like, I, I can't work because of my disability. So, like, for me, this is going to be my 9 to 5. Uh, and that's why I've been streaming a lot more now that I have my own uh, my own means to. And it's it's been working out really well. <laughs> Good shit posting is always nice. Uh, I, I like your chill vibe, vibes here. Thank you, thank you. You know, we, we do have a lot of chaos on the streams and a lot of, like, uh, just... If, if you were here earlier, it was just hilarity with chat. But it's always like that at the start of the show. You know, like, the we, we, have, some, we have some of the edgy boys. You know, they like to tell their edgy jokes and shit. Sometimes they like to tell a little bit of an edgy joke here. Yeah, but, you know, it's all, it's all good. It's all in good fun. Uh, you know, it's... I, I, I don't I don't need to tell anyone not to take it too far the, that everybody here is a is, is a grown adult you know, but then we we get the later part of the evening and it's all it's all like we we calm down we we get into the chill mood so we try to have a little bit of a mix of like the 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 high energy stuff with the the chaos and the memes and then we calm down towards the end of the evening. Uh, Shadow says, I quit long ago, but I'd like to make a unique show this time. Yeah, that's that's really the thing you want to strive for. Like, either try to make something totally unique, or if you can't, try to kind of put your own spin on, like, a like an old reliable, you know, like a method that already works, but you're like, I want to do something like this, but I want to put my own kind of flair on it. So that's, that's kind of what me and Jazzy did with all this, where... I wanted to do primarily video game streaming, you know, I don't want to do like podcasting or, you know, anything like that. I, I personally, I feel there's enough of that in the communities that I'm a part of, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not the kind of show I want to do. So like, I don't mind 
excuse me, I don't mind being a guest on people's podcasts. I just probably won't do them myself. Unless it's, unless Jazzy has a really good idea for one. I know Insidious Bliss mentioned we need to do, if we ever do one, we need to call it No Context. And I'm not really sure what me and Jazzy would talk about on the podcast, but it's just, this is my take on it, personally. All right, I need to go to the ending screen here. So let's do that. But I want to, uh, as the screen says, I want to thank everybody for coming on by and watching me stream some Indie Game Showcase. And since this worked out so well, we're definitely going to do some more uh, Pixel Perfect. Uh, maybe sometime soon. Maybe we'll go back to Mmod next time. Um, maybe we'll even rebuild Bonk Town. I mean, we have the Bonk Town news rolls with, with Fuzzy. We have the, uh, the special reports. So maybe we need to bring back Bonk Town and make sure that we have our we have our fair city like risen from the grave all rebuilt and pristine like it should be so i want to wish everybody a good night thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight insidious bliss i will see you tomorrow afternoon with paul and we will work for a different uh lethal company a, th a third lethal company <laughs> maybe we can rotate like that into the into uh, DRG and Lethal Company if, if we end up liking Abiotic, Abiotic Factor. I'm still not sure. I'm not quite sold on the game, but maybe playing it with like multiple people it's going to be really fun. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Well, I think I might have to replay the intro, so hopefully I don't. Uh, I'll, I'll reinstall the game and find out if I have to, though. Uh, Shadow says, good night and good luck with the future streams. Thank you. You too. And, and if you get back into streaming, let me know like what your uh, channel name is. I think I might have you followed already, but if you do, I would definitely come by and check your streams out. You know, get give your give your streams a shout out so that way you can get some people coming your way. But I, I'd, I'd love to see it if you get back into it. Let me know. Uh, Zach says you could aim for some different types of games depending on the weekday like Sundays would be perfect for for bonk town stuff uh, something chaotic yeah that's true maybe have like certain days for like sweaty games you know like try hard stuff and then maybe have a day for chill games um, send me some ideas for that in DM Zach like what you think would be good for certain days like um, I know you've been on like Twitch for quite some time already, so maybe you'd have some insight on that. But I, I, I would definitely appreciate the input. Uh, and Shadow says, "Oh, thanks. Uh, if I let you know, I'll if uh, thanks. I'll let you know. Uh, if I do, I'm going to use a different name. Appreciate the support and tips. Yeah, no prob, no prob. Like I, I mean, I always I've wanted to do this for years, and I figure like I mean, if I can do this, I think anyone really can, honestly." You know, just just be entertaining, be skilled at a game or both. You know, just have or have like a unique idea that no one else has done. You know, just have some sort of thing that you can offer that like, even if other people can do it, you you can do it in a certain way that no one else can. You know, just have something like that makes your stream stand out, and I think you'll go far. Sorry about the loud traffic. <laughs> Apparently, that car agrees with me though. <laughs> Uh, Zach says, yes, one-year affiliate fossil here. Damn, you've been an affiliate for a year already. Sweet. Congratulations on that. Now take off that fuckboy mask. <laughs> Anyways. Everybody, I hope you have a good night. One second here while I tell Fuzzy to say good night to everybody else. And then we will, we will close everything down for the night. Hey, Fuzzy, you, uh... I want to say good night to the chat. Okay. We'll just have Fuzzy say one more thing to everybody. Oh, that didn't take long at all. Okay, she's ready. Here we go. Go to it, Fuzzy. Do your thing. Oh, darlings, it's time for Fuzzy Wuzzy to bid you adieu. Go ahead and tuck yourselves in snugly and let the dreams of victory dance in your heads. Remember, you're all absolutely fabulous and always bring the sparkle to the stream. Rest up now, my glamorous chat.
because tomorrow we conquer more pixelated worlds together. Sweet dreams, fabulous souls, sparkling heart, sparkles, kissing cat face. Damn, Fuzz, it's like you're coming on to him. Wow. Oh, my. Well, Zach's going to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> but really, Fuzzy loves you all. I love you too. You guys are great. Uh, thank you so much for the support tonight. And just for everybody else showing out, uh, k kissing cat girl face. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Got him. Got him. <laughs> but yeah, I... I appreciate everybody coming out and checking out the streams, supporting it and everything. And we will probably be back on Sunday. I know tomorrow after I'm done like playing uh, with Paul and Insidious and showing up on a podcast, I'm probably going to need a break. So I probably won't be streaming tomorrow night. But Sunday, we'll see. I might even do like an afternoon stream on Sunday. Maybe, maybe that's when we'll finally do the Bonk Town revival. So until then, everybody, I hope all of you have a good night. Fuzzy wants you to have a good night. Jazzy's probably asleep right now. You know, thinking about that questionable spaghetti he had for dinner. But he wants you to have a good night, too. Everybody wants you to have a good night. So, I hope you have a good night, everybody. Peace out. I will see you next time.